the squeeze and bite. A howling locomotive rips with the night. To think I was gone, then I'd come back. Listen. Judge of the land, I'll go wherever you go. Know. 
This life doesn't go well with me. I'm not a member of the band. Do you think you can like me despite that sitting on God's right hand? I'm alone. Take me home. As you make the bed, so we must lie. No one knows where the life force flows. Howdy, motherfuckers. Uh, let's run that from the top again. Howdy, motherfuckers. What's up, everybody? Wolves any second now. Shit, they could try me. What's up, everyone? Today is gonna be... Exciting. Pain coming in with that raid. Thank you, baby. What's up, B? How are you doing, you fucking absolute legend? I hope you're having an amazing day, B. Ah! Okay. That's bad.
Okay, so we gotta keep that in mind that a cougar is over here. I had no idea. Driver gifted a tier one to Miss Schwitz. Thank you, Driver. Mills pushing P tonight, that's right. Neptune said, Good to see you back. It's great to see you here. How was Kaysen's? I'm doing great, actually. I'm doing very good. Um. I'm really excited for uh, today's episode. Frost coming in with the raid. Thank you, Frost. Frost, there's some cool things happening that you, uh, Mills hasn't told Frost, or hasn't told Bianca yet. I was actually gonna write her today. Just crashed, can't stay, alright. Thank you for the raid, though. I appreciate you. Three months, moi. Thank you, Frost. Gifted a tier one to Hefties or Hefties or welcome to the Cine Sin Club. Thank you guys for the support at the start of the stream. Can we give Frost, B, and uh, Driver some Kaysen's Awake? Absolute legends coming in at the start of the stream. And for Frost for the raid and Pain for the raid. Just, just give them all Kaysen's away. Thank you for the 100 biddies, fam. Hype train. Let's make sure we don't get arrested, guys. That would suck.
There is a lay all men there though. I think these are both lay all men. You're gonna lurk for a bit? Alright, Payne. What are we having a gift off? <laughs> this is this is this what's happening? <laughs> B gifted a tier one to Boofalulu. Welcome back to the City Sin Club, Boofalulu. Stacy Strawberry Driver gifting a tier one to her. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, to hell. Driver gifted a tier one to Shoney. Welcome to the City Sin Club. Thank you guys, really. A hundred and sixty <laughs> subs, that's fucking insane. Oh, Okay, uh, this is from Riggs. Someone overheard the location of the saloon that we don't know and has been seen talking to Law. Could you please pick a new location? Yes. We are going to meet. By this village next to Winyard. Right. Oh, to hell. Riggs. We are going to meet at the little village next to Winyard. Up by Wapiti. We'll take this and we're going to send it to Peter Gray. Howdy. Oh, my team speaks not open. Howdy. Nash, let me know when you're around and where I could find you. Okay, we gotta meet up with Nash. FG562, we will meet. Cattail, speakeasy. Pip, let's meet in the black. I'm in the Blackwater Saloon waiting on telegrams. I'm going to write Pip uh, TR637. AW313, Sally's house. I'm wanted, and so is Alex. What did Riley say? Where are you where are you at? I'd like to talk with you if you got a bit. She sent that yesterday. 
Great, is that fucking Pavis? Is she gonna arrest me right now? I do not feel like getting arrested. It's not happening. Not today. Did Pavis completely forget <laughs> that I I ate I helped aid in a bed Alice yesterday? All right, you guys went fucking absolutely insane. All right, let's see. <laughs> All I heard was my alerts going off. What we got here? Driver gifted a tier one to True Believer. Dr. Ora gifted a tier one to JR Vert. B gifted two tier ones to Bishada and Benny. Also 200 biddies. And B gifted another tier one to Life is Gaming. Guys, give B and Driver and Dr. Ora some fucking Kaysen's hype. These guys are these guys are huge supporters of the channel and it really means a lot. Thank you guys so much. I gotta step out, y'all. Enjoy the stream. B, hopefully I see you later. Take it easy, bro. I appreciate you, really. Have an amazing day. How much time till the meeting? 30 minutes. All right, Nick. All 
I got some new emotes coming too, guys. Um, some animated emotes, I think. If they actually get accepted by Twitch, they'll be great. So can you lay out what would happen if one of the sides go to war and win? Because Van Horn got wiped out when you guys won. So do you think uh, one side will get wiped out? It's, you know, it, it depends on the, the... Where should we meet? I said Su Sally's house. Two one one seven two. Sally's house. Um, you know, war, it, you can't just, like, generalize how war would go. Because with Van Horn, it was uh, the law that was attacking them. We were attacking them. So that's what led to their downfall. Um... And it all comes down to willpower at the end of the day, you know? Who who could get fucked up but get back up and... Um, it's a war of attrition usually, and that's how these things go. I mean, that's how it used to be. I love that Nash is officially part of the Kettleman gang. He puts in more work than most people on the streets, exactly. Uh, he was with Jack before he was with the ranch, and he's done multiple jobs with the Kettleman gang. So, I mean, it all added up. And then on top of that, um, he's a cold-blooded killer. He'll fit right in. There was a horse out there. I don't see anyone down here, though. Unless it was someone run and shine, maybe. That's probably it. I remember when Baz and Jack would use him as their personal hitman. He was putting people down for a while. Yeah, fucking Nash is cold-blooded. I still remember when you guys picked up Pip, and now he's living a legend 
now he's a living legend. Oh, Roy, he is. Um, yeah, I remember the day we brought him in. Uh, me, Clayton, and Jack met up with Henderson. Uh, we were going to buy dynamite from them. And they tried to, like, upsell us. Henderson did. Jack basically said, fuck you. And Pip was with Henderson. And then we started doing uh, work with Pip. And then uh, Pip or Henderson used Pip as like a scapegoat against the Dicenzos. And then we told the Dicenzos, like, you don't touch Pip. He's one of us now. And Pip joined up with us. That's how it went for most of the people in the gang, too. Like, uh, Jack Kettleman was a, a name people were talking about in The Crossing. When Mills uh, was literally a nobody. Clayton was, was a nobody. And then we joined up with, you know, the whole Van Horn War happened. And then just the talks of that spread around The Crossing. And now we're very no- Holy fucking shit. Huh. You're back to the thumb. That's right. It's fucking right. Pip I'm unleashed. Fed being, I'm fed of, of being like a, this, this fucking uh, sex magnet, you know. That's nah, right. That's right, you know, I'm t I was too hot. I was too hot. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's back that's to right. the thumb, For guys. Now, I'm the fucking farm, that's right. That's right. People would better get ready because the farm can do a lot of things. A fucking That's lot of things. Pip unleashed, motherfucker. That's right. That's right. We're waiting for uh, Nash and Alice to get here. What do I? You remember Roy? Did you ever meet Roy? I did meet Roy. He was uh, one of the milk deliverers, right? Part of the That's ranch. That's right. That's right. Uh, I think after you went, to, you got. Uh, Locked up, he, you know, he helped out quite a lot. And to be honest, he was he was working his way into uh, our good books, eh? He's been on a few jobs. He contacted me today, and I just remembered that I sent him to Blackwater and didn't uh, tell him to meet here. But maybe that's for the best. I see. Um, I don't know. We could give him a shout. Maybe it wouldn't be bad to have someone on our side however he is sort of like nash is in and well all of us as in deeply associated with the range so yeah um i mean it's up to you i mean i don't mind him being there that'll make us five there but you know we are going to be the neutral party making sure no one gets shot i'll go and send him a, i'll go send him a telegram all right while the station's close to here yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll be back in a minute. Where uh, have you decided on the meeting point and have you let everyone know? Yep, so we're going to be meeting at that little village next to Winyard. Right up near, near where PT. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll be fine. There's, you know, it, it, the thing is, I wanted to meet at Moonstone, but it's too close to Emerald yeah. Station, and there's going to be patrols going through there. This is still on the west, and I don't think any run from Wapiti will be going down there, because that's off in the trees, as long as the horses are hidden. That's fine. That's fine. I just hope Itakala doesn't turn up, and I'm like, oh, for, for fuck's sake. Oh. She does just tell her to leave. Yeah. Who else is here? Is Nash here? Nash He's is gonna be way. coming. Oh. I'm gonna, I'll go Whose send, horse uh, is that though? I'm gonna send Roy a telegram. Probably a shiner. Right. Or yeah, I think it's a shiner. Alright. Howdy, love. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? 
I'm doing good. I ran into Pavy Pav, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah, but she didn't, uh... She didn't say anything. She walked right past me. Wow. It's probably my intimidating force. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Roy Hor- yeah. Another young buck with potential. Roy was the man Jack and Pip look over for him to join the Kettleman gang. I remember there was issues between Jack and Roy for a little bit. Hopping in from Graves, ready to watch this meeting, hell yeah. Grave Gamer. You know, you look very comfortable in my poncho. I am very comfortable. It's nice and kind of smells like you. I was gonna say, you know, I, I miss the poncho, but you look better in it. <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. Digimap, what's up? Yeah, we had to change the location because, uh... Someone overheard where we were meeting. Of course they did. Tech Cal said flirt. Mills is a clueless flirt. Alright. Poncho looks better on you. <laughs> I wanted to put together my outfit that had the poncho. I, I, I was watching old clips. And I had an outfit when Mills had two eyes with the poncho. But Alice has it now. Let's get out of this fucking rain. So after this meeting, whatever happens, happens. But mm -hmm. we got some Del Logos that need to be killed. What would they have wanted with Anka? What was that? So what would they want with Anka? It seems like she's been through enough. I have no idea. Tired of her just getting hurt from people out west. Um, what uh, the fuck? You all right? I see the ledge. I didn't see the ledge. Uh, that was quick. We were just talking about uh these puppies that need to be put down. The little Del Lobos. Ah, uh, see. Yes. You know, it's time for them to join their 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 uh the rest of their friends. It yeah. would be it would be dope if the Kettleman you know gang took over a new yeah. Austin fight the Del Lobos and secure Fort Mercer as a permanent gang hut. You know, I, I really earlier I, and I didn't uh, I didn't ask her. At the end of the day, she wants she wants us to cut them off and isolate them. I say that would only make them more dangerous. So might as well. Cut the head off the snake, eh? Yeah. Is that fucking Boone? Why are we always running into <laughs> Boone? God damn it. How the hell are you? Howdy, man? motherfucker. <laughs> I just got accosted by the law. They all might want to be careful. They're pretty close. <sighs> Go inside. Go inside. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You, you, oh, you shit, my horse is injured. Actually, maybe don't go inside. Go, no, on, go Alice. on that fucking hill up there. Go on that hill up there. Oh, fuck. Come on, we're not, we're not gonna stay in here. <sighs> Alright. 
Yeah, let's like go up on that hill up there and I'm over here. Sit in that bush. I've hidden here before. <laughs> This spot is where the uh, the war with Gavin Summers and the Kettleman Gang officially came to an end. Really? I yeah, just down there. We met up with Gavin, all of his goons. We actually uh, ran in, got the law off their backs. Aren't the Lobos al uh, allies with the boys and thieves, or am I wrong here? Bro, fuck it, I don't care if they are. We'll chop them down. We don't give a fuck about alliances. Everyone's always allied with someone. He brought him to the spot because that's where the shine had to be delivered. Also the spot where Braithwaite was murdered. That is a nice fishing spot, it is. Howlai Schmowlai. They got a problem with us cutting down the Del Lobos, they could come and talk to us. The server is way too political now, everyone's allied with someone. Ash is here. Right. I think we should be fine. Okay. If Law tries anything, we'll fucking gun him down. So Mills, you, you have told uh, everyone that's the yeah, meeting point, yeah. right? Alright, so so we should probably head up there now, yeah? Yeah, not too far from here. I just wanted to show you something first, okay? Alright. You ready for this? 
Oh no, I, I, I know what it's- Boom! Uh, baby, boom. <laughs> uh, let's get the fuck out of here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Do you really hate it that much? No, I don't hate it. To be honest, I haven't really had a good look at it. Well, I think I look sexy, and so does Alice. She doesn't want to Excuse me. <laughs> Are you assuming how I feel? Well, I'm telling you how you feel. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry. Stop the horse. I'm not saying anything. Oh, oh Jesus. Are Christ. you? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Better not be. Hey, Pip, you know I overheard something. Did you um, overhear? Wait, hold on. Are we even going? No, we I had to take know. a left back there. Uh, Deputy Wright is back. The fellow that took my eye. And he spoke to Effie May. And Effie told the fella, uh, you know, basically you should be careful, something like that. And he said, why? Is Mills gonna come and uh, shoot me? And Effie said, I didn't say that. And then the fella said, uh, well, he could try, but he's not gonna do anything with one eye. So next time I see that motherfucker, I'm gunning him down in cold blood. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. I don't have a problem with that. Alright guys, we're going to the meeting location. It's time. If I start some shit, is it gonna be made out of instigator? <laughs> you look incredible, Nash. Because he might try to hit you from the blind side. Are you okay? Are you, are you doing this on purpose? I'm okay. Are you sure? Okay, Alice. Okay, okay, okay. Are you okay? Are you yeah, okay I'm after fine. the shit you pulled me yesterday? Listen, I'm fine, okay? <laughs> 
Yeah, she's fine, Pip. My ass. You're not allowed to look at any more women, are you? You're just not allowed to look at. Motherfucker, stop Whatever's fucking! You're, you're 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 tickling right. the you're you're touching the bear. Stop. <laughs> Calm down, Alice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm missing one. Should we, like, stand on the roof and look all ominous as they come in? Absolutely. All oh, my guns out. Yeah, like we, we should be the only ones with guns. Maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't be looking all in, in, into there. Maybe we should make it more cozy, like our hotel or something. Uh, what, you're gonna yeah. offer them scented soap? Yeah, man. You want a roast chicken? <laughs> <laughs> that type of thing. I've, I've got roast chicken. I don't have scented soap. You know, we could lay on the roof and then jump out at them. Really? Is that really a good idea? Yeah, let, yeah let's, let's make the people who are already tense uh, even more tense. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. sure we might just pull guns out and start firing. Because I no. think it's probably a setup already. Mm -hmm, of course not. What if they're all riding up here together? on the same fucking road, and they all start killing each other before they even have the chance to talk. That'd be a stupid move. Well, they know what happens if they violate the agreement. <sighs> oh! <laughs> you gotta, you gotta grip it harder than that. Pip, you better not fucking die before the meeting starts. Well, I hope you got medical supplies. I do. I haven't played this song since we murdered Sheriff Banks.
we needed to uh, discuss if one side starts firing on the other. Are we just going to let them all out? You know, we had this agreement that if they break it, we're taking the other sides, uh, the other side. But they're, they're going to have four on each side. Are we going to have two people join the other four? Or are we just going to let them no, shoot I each think, other? I think we just let them shoot each other. Yeah. And then whoever whoever wins, we, we turn to them and win. I don't know. It depends who fires first, though. It depends who fires first. All right. What about, do we... Do we... To be honest, do we really want to, you know, be on the, uh, the agitator side? That's what I'm saying, is we won't be on the agitator no, side. Yeah, yeah, it's, no, yeah, it's... I, I meant, I meant it the other way around. I mean, are, are we really gonna, gonna meddle in this it's, uh, because of their agreement? I mean... Yeah, I, d I do kind of see where you're coming from. I don't... I feel like if they start fighting here, we just let them fucking fight it out and we stay out of it, if that's what they want to do. But... We're here to mediate, and, and I think I feel like what you said still stands, Mills. But maybe we shouldn't uh, join right act now. Act right now. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Like I said, if uh, if one side's clearly victorious, but turns out they were the ones who instigated everything, then maybe we do. Maybe we yeah. do fuck them up. I think we make that that choice at the time, mate. Eh? Let's All definitely right. keep the keep the word bullheaded. Uh, out of well, our phrase book until we want it or something like that you know just pick a phrase and so we know, lemon so we... cakes we're not using it's... lemon cakes um what about lemon sherbet no mm. donkey balls <laughs> oh, okay. I guess not. Jack was always good at coming up with the word. I mean, to be honest, okay, I'm the only one who's actually come up with several words here, okay? Okay, Dash. What about a thumb it up? Thumb it's up, just, Dash. you know, it, fantastic. <laughs> Let's do something like, uh, it's you, you know, poo -poo time. <laughs> you know, it'll be coming. Say, how about we just say something, something like, you know, like we say that. If it gets to that point, we're probably going to be in pretty heated conversation. So why don't we just say, like, a phrase like, well, let's fucking just bring about the apocalypse and then start firing. Something like that. Yeah, maybe just for today, you know, since we are the mediators, right, we shouldn't... If we want to mediate something ever again, I don't think we should take any action, so we just let them know. Well, you just wasted our fucking time. Yeah. All right. How about, as you made the bed, so you must lie? And then we start oh. blasting. Oh. <laughs> Are you fucking? This is coming from the guy who said pee pee poo poo. What? That was a, that, that, that was a joke. Bored? That was a joke. That was a joke. What the hell's wrong with you? I'll be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go All right, they're coming. Are they coming? Right now. Yeah, right now. How do you know? I saw horses. I hear the horses. I need a piss, man. Oh. Well, then go piss. Go piss, piss. <laughs> I mean, there can't be that much piss in that little peck anyway, so. You like to sell cigarettes? I'd much prefer to smoke them. What if we bring back the old, uh, the old kettleman? We ask what you know, whoever. If if it's the opposers or the agitators, they win. We ask them, hey, you got a cigarette? 
because I much prefer to smoke them, and you know, we just gun them down. <laughs> That's what we used against Gavin Summers and Van Horn. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you know, I'm I'm down I'm down with everything. I'm if we want to shoot, we shoot. But if we uh, if we ever want to mediate something again, Mills, I think we uh, we gotta be the mediators. All right. It was more so for insurance, but whatever. They're here. Yeah, yeah. Howdy. Howdy. Hey. Look, um, all we were told was it's a village near Wapiti. So, I apologize. I, I thought I said that. next to Winyard. It's right next to Winyard. <laughs> That's what I got in a telegram. I sent Peter and uh, Riggs the same telegram. All right, well, Riggs said to me, a village near Wapiti. And I'm like, we didn't go to Wapiti because I thought we wouldn't be doing it at Wapiti. And this is like the closest place that had a few a few buildings. So. All right, all right. How you guys doing? Doing quite well. How are you? The thumb is back. That's right. That's right. Welcome back. All right, we'll it's pitch up these back. horses, eh? Hey? Riggs all is running right. a little bit late. Hey, that's all right. Nash, how you doing? Oh. I'm doing good. Our shoes are covered in... What the hell? Yeah. That's... Because... Okay. Yeah. Is that a crocodile? Yeah, it is. It's it gator. is. It's a gator. <laughs> gator. What's the difference? The way it's spelled? Todd looking like yeah, Kratos. Fair enough. This is Prime Bayou Gator. You know what? It I like smells it. funny, man. It does. <laughs> Did you make that yourself? I might have killed a couple of gators and given them to a man I know in Saint Denis, okay? Ugh. The shoes. Oh, it's snow. I see. Can we just get off Nash's back for a second? I mean, you're the well, one you bringing get... attention to it, man. Yeah, if get you get that gator jacket off your back, how about that? If you got a big cock, you gotta wear croc. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. That's the way it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I hope they're not lost. I, my telegram, word for word, said the village right next to Winyard, that is close. To a PD. I mean, there's yeah, there's, okay. there's there's only one place. Well, the message I got was had nothing to do with the vineyard. Who it sent it to you? <laughs> Riggs. I see. But yet you're here. Well, yeah. It took okay. us. Uh, look, we got a little bit lost on the way. Let's just say. But, that. but you're the first to arrive, so you know you don't need to you don't need to explain. You you know. It's fine. Everyone's being fashionably late. They see, you know, it's, it's totally right. It's, it's either fine. that or they're fucking lost. Wait, we were on time, right? Or were we late as well? We were, yeah, sure. We're on time. We're on time. So what have you guys been doing? Talking about Nash's crocodile coat. Mm. Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah, not bad. Apart from that. No, not too much, eh? What about you? Eh, hey, not too much. Just woke up not that long ago. Checked some telegrams. Right up here, basically. 
Did we miss the uh, race at Braithwaite Manor? Did you guys go to that? Yeah. I, yeah. Was it good? Pip, Pip, I won. Won. Pip won the horse race. True equestrian, oh, really gentlemen. Right. That's right. I'm on far lap as well. I'm very proud. Yeah. I heard. I thought it was a bit of a scam. No, there was a wagon race too, but I got chased out. Yeah, we got chased out by the fucking law. I'm real mad about oh, that. They ruined, you guys asked the law after you guys. <sighs> Me. Oh, okay. Yep. What's that for? What? What am I wanted for? Yeah. Uh, a couple of bank robberies, several other robberies, uh, attempted jailbreak and then an actual jailbreak you know fun stuff like that all the nice things <laughs> yeah i remember alice when we you know, we were just sitting <laughs> yeah. there in the cave mining away talking about life yeah. now look at you now look at us <laughs> <laughs> yep yep it's probably my fault she started dating an asshole named Mills. Oh, I was messed up before <laughs> I met you, dear. <sighs> That's right, you keep your eyes on your map, Mills. Where the fuck did Nash go? Holy cow. He, he, he passed out. I think he passed out from the gator fumes. What are gator fumes, Todd? You didn't smell know. it coming off of his coat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Where's Wallace at? Francisco? That is far. I think he's out. I just. He hasn't been around. Okay. Right. Why did you say uh, Riggs was? Oh, no. She just said she was running late. Oh. Uh. Maybe she got us too. I mean, she's the one that sent the telegram to Todd. <laughs> Mine was pretty clear. This has always been a problem, even when we were running with Baz and Riggs. Jack. Pip knows this. Jack will say the most, like, meet by the tree next to the bush. Yeah. I just remember there's one time that really sticks with me where I think uh, he told me to meet you guys at Okray's Run. I traveled from literally the other side of the crossing uh, to Okray's Run, and I was there for 45 minutes before he turned up. I was just like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, you made it yeah. sound like it was a rush. Well, the horse mm. race was supposed to start an hour before it actually did, so... Yeah, no, I Does anything it, ever really happen on time in the crossing? Remember when we did a we did the bank with Jack? And um gave the location and I was just fucking sitting there by myself for half an hour. And no one showed up, I just left. Oh yeah, because we updated the location and didn't tell you or something like that. Oh no. Yeah. He also yeah. planned this planned Valentine and then just Last second, changed it to Blackwater. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Good job. Fucking hell. Oh, it worked out. Pip, do you remember when we were dressed up like, uh... It was like me, Clayton, Jack, Kaniklo. We were dressed up like government officials. And we were going to have you block that uh, bridge with a cart. Yeah, but the fucking law thwarted our... Yeah. Fucking law. 
stayed in the, yeah me and Kaniko stayed up on that hill for like an hour waiting we were like something must have gone wrong but let's just wait just in case they come over the hill we had this uh paperwork written out and everything and then fucking Dakota Gun reads it and he says this time isn't in uh, military time. This is a fake document. We put so much work into that. That was such a I shame. That's the only time that exists. Yeah, it was very disappointing. We did like six hours of planning. Remember when we we rode on those motherfuckers that robbed you, Mills? And stole yeah. Monica? That was... Bell game. They got fucked up. They haven't been seen since. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they really got fucked up on that one. You know, I uh, got a telegram from Roy Juarez today. He was with us on that as well. Yeah, I remember. I remember Jack and I don't know, most of you fucked up those other guys. I kneecapped that one guy who took my harmonica. Yeah. yeah. Now the fucking wallaby kid has my harmonica. Oh, does he really? Yeah. You know he tried to rob us? Yeah, we got the riders the coming ranch? up. Who hasn't he tried to rob? We got riders it, coming up it, it from the yeah. Let's go check it out, Pip. All right. All right, all right. How goes it? How do you? Yes, uh, Todd and, uh... Oh, they're here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, yeah, they're okay. just down over here. I gave All the right. worst directions to them. I'll see you later. All right, bye. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. And I was feeling extremely guilty about it. Yeah, I heard you said that. It was next to Wapiti. Yeah, I gave the worst directions. Well, we're all here, so... I mean, we're waiting on... Oh, nope, they're here. Yeah, I'm good. They just left. Oh, okay. Apologies, Mills. Had a run in with the law already. Fuck. Uh, was it near here? No, it's Armadillo. Right, I gave him a run for money. Directions. All right. All right, that's good. That's all right. We found it. Mills, um, do you mind if I get a word in with just you for a moment? Yeah, sure. If they try anything for any me Sorry, reason, can you anything. promise me that uh, one of yours gets me out of here so I don't get arrested? Yeah, I got you, Bonnie. I'll get you out personally. That's an idiot. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't expect to go down, but just in case, I want to bet insurance with you. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fine. It's right. All right, here we are. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right, so uh, I guess we'll just get straight into this. So I guess we'll have uh, the thieves crew on this side, and then you guys, uh, the ranch, you guys can stay over here. I believe uh, when it comes to good negotiation, everybody deserves one sidebar. We have terms to present. I'm sure you do as well. There could be an opportunity to renegotiate them. And that's when you could use your sidebar to discuss it privately. That's perfectly all right. Everybody I believe. Does everybody see, feel that is fair? Yeah, that's fair. Let me raise my voice so everybody can hear me. Yeah, just to clarify, can everybody hear me without me shouting too loud? Yeah. Good. 
Yep. Hello. As a gentleman, please, ladies first. I still stand by my same... Once, I guess, is what you could call them from earlier. I don't want any hostages taken out of Thieves Landing or the Blackwater area. Or not Thieves Landing, out of the Blackwater area. Safety net is in place. The safety net is back in place. Same things that I'm always asking for. <laughs> and that's your only terms? Yeah, that's my only terms. Okay. Here's what I can promise. And this is a promise on Stan from me and mine, everyone at Pale Panther. I will not rob anyone personally from the Blackwater area, from upper the lower Montana River. No one will get their items and goods stolen from them. Nor will I make a habit of committing murders in the general area if it can be helped. That is, unless I am aggressed first. Or we're aggressed first. Right. That's what I could promise you as far as safety net is concerned. I cannot assure you that I won't grab a hostage. I will promise that I'll do my best to return them back to their home alive and well and safe so long as they help me finish my job. Because that's what they are, a bargaining chip. It's not If personal. I may add to this as well, after yes. you can say it. Go ahead, mate. And, it's very... Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. Um... The reason why we hold these terms is, given the amount of wanted I am in the most likely place for me to be arrested and taken to uh, jail to be at least processed before I'm shipped off to Sisica, is, uh, is Blackwater. And while I understand, as I said at the last meeting, which I don't believe you quite responded, but it seemed you saw through my point a little bit, that uh, while I won't go out of my way to take a hostage from Blackwater. There are certain moments where it will prove necessary. In, in my eyes, hostages are never taken personal. I've been used as a hostage to get people out of jail many times. Haven't had the pleasure of being a hostage in a bank robbery yet. It'd be fun though. And, uh, well, the way That's I see it- kind of how it goes, yeah? Yeah, the way I see it, uh, I'm more likely to be in Blackwater than anywhere else, and we need to be able to get ours out of Blackwater should it happen. I ain't here to protect the people of Blackwater, but I'm not here to harm them neither. As far as the safety net's concerned, there's a lot of history involving that safety net. And once upon a time, I done did right out on behalf of that safety net. But to make a long story that's not yours to hear short, uh, it didn't serve me very well. So you can understand that me and mine have our reservations about being vigilantes and running out there and bopping people for doing their fucking job, which is being a criminal. You know, if you didn't like it, maybe consider bringing it back to... I don't know, what, did, what would you do before this? Before running now? Maybe that's a better profession for you. Yes, keep antagonizing each other. I'm not here to make judgments or tell you how to live. As a matter of fact, that's what brought us to all this trouble in the first place. We felt you was coming by ours and telling us how we ought to live. And that's not something we can abide by. So for all the violence, if you was confused by it, I have to drive that point home. That is why. Peter's so I good at monologuing. confused, Mr. Gray. Good. Furthermore, as we promised not to rob anyone in the general area, or harm them with implicit intent of maintaining some semblance of peace and prosperity in our general neighborhood. Ranch folk ain't allowed in Pale Panther for a drink. Or, or at all, for anything, as a matter of fact. Landing is off limits to those at the ranch. Oh, good. We have an understanding then. Yeah, Black we ain't no bones about trying to come by the, the ranch for you guys. We, we have no No, Natch. All right, stay out of Blackwater. You don't govern Blackwater. You That's don't govern right. Thieves Landing. I think our blood, sweat, do. and tear is to say otherwise. I fought And how does six. that be any different than for Blackwater? Your blood, sweat, and tears is good enough for that town. Why is mine not good enough for Blackwater? 
Because uh, the law would have something to say about exactly. you running it. Well, the law has something to say about thieves landing too. That's a moot excuse for you it's... to have a hold of some place that you don't want me to have a hold of somewhere else. I ran the law out of uh, Thieves' Landing almost sing single-handedly the other night. Yeah. I left heart and cuffs I... and made him run wee-wee all the way home like a little piggy he is. You now, before we start splitting hands here... I've uh, been talking quite a bit without allowing anybody else to talk, so let me have a couple minutes you here. You guys are spitting insults left and right and bragging left and right, but let me tell you, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to tell you that I... And still standing by, keep your asses out of black water and no hostages. You don't want to abide by that, then I guess this meeting's fucking over. Seems so. You want your sidebar? Take it. No sidebar needed, Shia. Yeah. You have One no, of our final no terms. intent on uh, on renegotiating. You don't want to. Uh, you don't you, want to concede uh, at all. I, to the reason. I, I, and I want to say, I, you let him speak. Hey, yeah, let's... I, I want to, I want to say that you both agreed to come here. Both sides agreed to come here with some, something in your head that you want peace. You're both being very ultimate. You need to start compromising. With all due respect, Pip Mills, Alice, I came here because I respected you, not to come here necessarily for peace. I came here with the same intention that I had before. We can't find you compromise made, that way. You guys made the decision to threaten me, putting me in a position where I'm doing this out of respect, but I still have the same standing. And frankly, I see where you guys respect me out of. Threaten her. So could you remind me where, where and when we started aggressing? Please refresh me. When you took Benny out of Blackwater. Uh-huh. Benny, who's not here right now. Right, because we agreed to four, or else he would be. He rode me up here himself. So, you do claim Benny? Yes. Alright, that's so fucking confusing, because the last time we talked, you told me Benny was Billy Joe Barber. Things have changed back and forth, but yes, uh -huh. at this point, I'm claiming him, and he has made some of his own decisions on where he stands. I'm not in charge of anybody at the ranch, and as Nash was he can one attest of yours to, when I grabbed please him. do not interrupt me. I'm not interrupting you. Yeah, let's talk. I have never told anybody they have to stay from the ranch or they have to go from the ranch. Benny is making his own decisions. And he is where this all started and I'm standing by that now you can argue whether or not he is but that's not the point the point is that I'm still standing by our original aggression no PvP off I'm if I have to fan the hammer no hostages so Wonder. you can argue about Benny all you want oh I wasn't Benny aiming to argue about Benny not at all well then why I bring just it up because I wanted to be clear as to why you're starting a war with Thieves Landing, and you just told me it's because of Benny. That's fine. I just wanted a reason, and he gave me one, and I appreciate it. And uh, our final term, as well, for peace, as Annabelle gets the saloon back. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have it your way. Oh, so you guys can have the bar in Thieves Landing and the bar in Blackwater. That's the way it was before? We get to take the hostages we want, and you get to stay out of here. Yeah, I love it. I love that they're antagonizing the each other. I didn't want them to be reasonable. Prior, and there's nothing personal about being taken hostage. All right. Well, yes. when I take Miss Bella as a hostage and shove a knife through her stomach, tell me that it's not Watch personal. Yourself, She's trying to tell antagonize them to shoot. Personal. Oh, you're making it personal, Cher. Well, you see exactly. that very clearly. No. You, see, you see, you took Benny, and that's not personal. Touch but if I take Benny, that's not personal, motherfucker. He wasn't even hurt. If I took Benny, not a hair on his. All right, all right. This is just becoming a fucking shit, a shit spitting competition. Where it's clear there's not going to be any peace. I say you both ride out. It's clear the line has been drawn. Who would say? Wise idea. Riggs, the one thing I've learned about you is you only have loyalty to yourself. You left your badge, and you left Baz to die, too. Watch it out. I oh, might just cut that tongue from your mouth. You was 
just as cheeky, Shia. I brought That's my daughter into this. He would be alive if you didn't leave him. <laughs> you really know how to cut deep, don't you, Bonnie? Cut deeper, baby, next time. Cause that ain't gonna work on me. You hear that, Bonnie? Mama likes it deep. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, trust me. All right. I don't want to catch crazy. The Eve's crew, <laughs> y'all right out of here. Yeah. Y'all enjoy ya. Day. See you soon. It's gonna be a shame how easy it is to make five murder six. <laughs> Nash just woke up. <laughs> There you go. All right. Riggs, I'm confused by what you said. I threatened you to be here. I did not threaten you. I told you if you wanted this to be off, I would call it off immediately. No, I, you said that if uh, I did anything, you would write against me. And I applied to them as well. That was just to keep people from not shooting each They've other They've already here. done something, Yeah, though. but at some point, you need to choose to have people's back. And you've had my back in the past, and I respect that out of everything. But when you threaten to ride against me under any kind of circumstances, it makes it clear how you actually feel. And she's Which not is wrong. fine. They, they've already done something. They already came to the ranch and shot people that we care about, that you care about. And then you want peace. And then you see the way that they act and the way that they talk to us and all the shit that they want. And you guys are still okay with that. I believe this fellow to my right returned the blood in that favor. No, it's not returned. You think that Annabelle and Morgan getting hit with a hatchet is enough justification for almost killing a bunch of people at the ranch? Then go get your blood. I intend to. remind Bonnie Jack that he left one of his crew at the mercy of at the range when they rode out last time yeah he did right and what happened to him he took him to black water right yeah all right no we didn't attack them I'll see you soon Well, we tried. It was not it the best. Uh, we, should we should probably have mediated a bit more, but there's a lot that they were saying that was so ultimate. Talking about so having ultimate, her fucking so back. So stubborn. When she fucking stabbed me in the back. I went out of my way to try to make sure Riggs was protected and that blood didn't have to be spilt, but that's off. All my connections with the ranch are fucking off. Same with thieves. I'm done. I'm cutting ties with everyone. We got some Del Lobos that need to be murdered, Pip. Yeah, we do. Let's take care of our business. If I, uh, if I pass out again, just ride on without me, okay? All right. We're going down to New Austin, by the way. Yeah.
I wasn't there for the most part of the meeting, but I don't actually feel like I missed anything. You didn't. Both sides pretty much refused to hear each other out and went compromise. There was no compromise from the get go. There was no. I don't think evil of their hearts were in it. They don't want peace. They want blood. They always did. I'll fucking let them have it. I hope they kill each other. I still think it was worth a try though, eh? Yeah, we really did try. Maybe we, like, maybe we should have said more, but like, a, she, she, she... We, there was nothing we could have said. At one point, and that, that didn't make us mediators anymore, that made us another party. Which, well, we already, you know what I mean. There was never any mediating to be done. They came there to throw their dicks around. The way, the way Rick, she spoke to that, I've never heard her speak like that. She wanted blood. She fucking went out of her way to blame me. Fuck that. She doesn't have a right to say that. Got my fucking brother killed. They want fucking Van Horn Mills to be awoken. No. We'll fucking war on everyone. Interesting, uh, I guess. Frets? Frets? Or does he want to bang? I'm not sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kai. Can we get a shout out to Stonefly Kai and Grave Gamer? They fucking killed it. They did amazing in those scenes. I'm so happy that they were. That was uh, McGregor. I don't give a fuck. They did amazing. They were both not reasonable. And I'm 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 happy that they were trying to get one side to shoot. They were really trying. It was, it was that's how I wanted the meeting to go. We could go across the waterfall.
I really want to rob that fucking milk wagon. send a telegram to Roy. We can meet up with him down here. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. I told him to come there, but he never turned up, so once we get to Armadillo, I'll, uh, I'll check my telegrams. Alright. I'm so bad with, like, telegram people and they're forgetting. Fucking hell. That's a fucking storm, and I love it. It's right, motherfucker. Rod straight into it. <laughs> Recognize that horse. It's like home right there. What are you doing lying in the middle of the floor, man? What the fuck? Out the fucking way! What the fuck? <sighs> you just give him a good kick. Out of the way. Just yeah, you just take it. Shove him out of the way. How do? Hey now. No problem. I'll do it. He was blocking the doorway like an ass. Look, I get started yeah, for yeah, it. Hey, dude, I'm doing all right. Give me your strongest whiskey. Strongest oh, whiskey. I got just the thing you need. Hold up. Yeah, actually. What for you, Alice? This. That's right there. Desert aged, I tell you. Oh. That can be the same for all these? 
Holy yeah. shit. This uh, is what yeah, I was yeah, looking please. for. Really yeah. Yeah. Some more I sure do. I sure do. I, I got about. Yeah, we found about three of them. <sighs> I'm saying one for the, for the lady. There we go. Alice. Yes. Yes. <gasps> oh, pain now. Look, you can have them. You can have it. It's fine. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> so what brings y'all I'm to sorry, the Alice today? has been getting on my nerves all day. I lost my temper. I'm yeah. sorry, Alice. That's, That's all right. Hey, what's, what's wrong with you? The fuck you do you mean different. what's wrong with you? No, like, what happened to your face? <laughs> like, Is it that? I'm the fucking your entire farm. That's right, Captain Farm's back. That's right. D didn't you used to have, like, a goatee? You say big bushy beard, that's right, and a mohawk, that's right, kind of. Yeah, what happened to that? I shaved it off. What the fuck do you think happened to it? How do you think that went? It went fucking glorious. Look at me. Back <laughs> in my glorious Look at him. man. Doesn't he yeah. look great? That's done. Yeah? Yeah, yeah look. Yeah. What y'all be getting up to today? Uh, yeah, up yeah, Billy Joe, you, you got something to say, mate? Never. Um. Yeah, you look fucking. Yeah. Yeah, you look. Yeah, look. <laughs> I look what, Billy Joe? No, <laughs> you look. Yeah, go on. You look, Pip. Sorry, I didn't ask you, sir. Can I get you some? Uh, no, um, like, I, uh... I look, Pip. All right, that's. I'm sorry. Very neutral of you to say. See, I've never oh, seen right. your face sorry, before, man. and now that you have n nothing else, I have no choice. Right? So I'm gonna remember that face for the rest of my life. You should. That's right. I'm fucking that. that shine's really nice. Every it's single time deal. I close my eyes, I will remember that face. Holy shit. It's a nice Captain <laughs> Thumb. That's right. Uh, what the fuck are you laughing at, motherfucker? That's Captain Thumb. Nothing wrong with it. It's... It's just, you got a, got a particular look to you. <laughs> that's right, motherfucker, that's right. I need to go check my telegrams, all right? I'll be back. Did you I'll come with you. A career as a swashbuckler? I am a fucking swashbuckler, hey, motherfucker. God damn, mother. I didn't mind my shit to eat. Campfire out there. Pretty it's sure. Sign. We passed by a law. They'll be down here. A few minutes. Okay. Uh, should I should I telegram Roy and tell him to? Yeah, we were outlaws rest man, right? So we just rest and chill. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're on to you, man. No, but Alice. I don't think they're. On I have a, 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 a telegram from Deputy Pavis right here. A proposition. Alice turns herself in. I'll have her time and charges. That brings her from 540 days to 272. And 1,960 to 830. If it's, That's a pretty good deal. If it but... sweetens the deal, I won't even send her to Sisica. Hell, I'll even let her pick what jail she serves in. Dude. I mean, if you're gonna serve that much time, you're gonna. I'd rather serve it in Sisica, right? I'll give you the same deal I gave Pip earlier as well. I want her off my list. Yeah, so you got aiding and abetting, and so do I. Sixty dollar fine. They won't, but they're not gonna give us any jail time. She didn't even search me. You know, she just find me at the sher outside the sheriff's office, and that was it. I'm gonna get Alice. This isn't up for me to decide. No, I mean, you know what, mate? I, you know, I don't think Alice is gonna take that. I, you know, if I were her, I probably wouldn't take it. Yeah, I, I know, it she's gonna say no. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's really good.
Thank you. Yes, uh, newly prepared. Alice, I have something to tell you. It kind of mm. makes it into more of a like a speech. I know your answer is probably going to be no, but I, I'm going to share this with you anyways. Proposition from Deputy Pavy Pav. Oh God, here we go. Let's hear it. Alice turns herself in. I'll have her time and charges. That brings her from five hundred five hundred and forty-five days to two hundred and seventy-two, and a one thousand nine hundred and sixty dollar fine to eight hundred and thirty. Really? That's what she said, and it said, "I, uh, you know." Something about if she doesn't want to serve it in Sisica, we'll let her pick her cell. But I mean, if you're going to serve 270 days, yeah. it's not worth it in a cell. It's no. Uh, wow, 500 and how many days? 545 to 272. Anyway, I'm gonna go ask uh, Boon shit about Del Lobos whilst you uh, discuss this, eh? Don't hate yourself in, Alice. Don't give in to the to the bastards. I I I, I agree with Pip. It's a it's a two thousand dollar fine yeah. down to an eight hundred and thirty dollar fine. I mean that is um, quite a lot. I don't give a shit. I'm not turning okay, myself then. in. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got nothing to discuss then. Pip, are you sure you're all right? I okay, maybe you need some water. Listen, I'm fine. You, okay. I'm just distracted and I'm just, all sad. I'm, hey, you know it's all right. I'm just okay. we're here. Fucking wash me. Uh, I feel I terrible know. about it. I'm, I feel terrible about it. I'm sorry, Pip. You, sh you shouldn't. Pip, if she doesn't accept you for who you are, then it was never meant yeah. to be, brother. I know it hurt, but it, it's gonna be alright. You know? I know. Yeah. Well, at least, you know, what did Effie say? I, you know, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all, eh? That's, That's right. really good. Yeah. What? Oh, it's talking about Jack. Oh, hey. Talking about Jack, eh? I thought his name was Tom, but all right. Tom is Dude, Teapot I, Man. I thought, I, 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 I thought it was Tom Kettle Guy or something like that. Tom Kettle Guy. Jack motherfucking Kettle Man. Never met him. He seems like an odd fella, by the way. But that's the same thing as we know. <laughs> <about that. laughs> you, uh... I see what you did there, Billy. <laughs> Billy, saying that name wrong, it, it would be like calling you, I don't know, Bobby, S Jim, Snipper. What about Silly Ho Harbor? See, it's no longer fun if I got the best one. <laughs> I, 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 I don't mean to come off as a dick here. I just woke up. Give me give me a second to let my charm kick in. No, you're fine, man. You're fine. Yeah, no, I, I just <laughs> I just I just like the fact, you know, that the uh, the big clock over there it speaks for us all. <laughs> it is ticking away. In the in the silence. I love that. Yeah. Man, I, I wish we had some of them them chirp chirps too. But ain't enough gr grass around it. Oh that that happens all the time. You just open your mouth and it's gone. Oh really? Oh really, Nash? Cook, cook. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know y'all are down here quite often. Have you seen a uh, deputy riot down here? Deputy riot? Right. Right. No, right. What's in the opinion, clock? they're all wrong. 
He looks like uh generic you know lawman number rides? three. So Snake down here we got three. we got O'Neal, we got O'Malley, we got Rabbit, and then we got Pavis. Ripley and Pavis. And then one more unknown. So that might be the right one. Pavis? You got, the, you got the O'Malley down here? Yeah, he's, yeah, the, he's sheriff. the sheriff. Yeah, they, they stuck the him all the way up uh, here. Sand and eat. <laughs> nope. Well, apparently they don't like wow. him, so they sent him down here. <laughs> Interesting. Funny. Well, he's the sheriff of Sand and then now. So what it what it seems like, right? Is that the law that they sent down here to actually, you know, come down there is the ones that think for themselves and aren't really all that welcome up in the crossing, right? The people that you know. So are you are you saying they think, think for themselves because they uh, they give you way more leeway, one? Yeah, I yeah. served I served my time for shooting a ranger in this bar and I paid forty five dollar fine. Yeah, I was here for that. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. So yeah, they got a little more leeway. I'm I'm pretty sure if we work with these guys, we can get this to be a pretty nice place. Pavis right. and Ripley are the main ones who are gonna have a problem. I mean, yesterday we had the Sanchez brothers in here and six lawmen, and not a single shot was fired. I mean, that's pretty good. Hell, one of them even served their time. <laughs> yeah, that too. How are they it's doing the Sanchez brothers? I haven't seen Bruno <sighs> and Felix in a while. Uh, uh, what was it? Raul. Raul, nice and there. I don't know the name of his brother there. I was Felix. Bruno, Sanchez, Felix. and uh, Felix. Or F is, I think it's Felix, yeah. I think so. Felix and Raul was in there. Yeah, I yeah, met Raul, Raul real briefly. <laughs> oh! Actually, you want to know something funny, Pip? When Ripley was in here earlier, she sort of coming off threatening me about that time when she busted in my shop with all y'all in there. <laughs> we were scheming. You mean that? She's like, you'd be surprised what we can overhear. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sure you'll hear a lot, Ripley. <laughs> you mean the time when I told them we're going to walk right past you and we did? Yeah, when we just walked right past them, there's two of them and all of us. She was like, oh, you'd be surprised what we're here. What is she going to hear with one ear? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, ain't gonna, especially in this bar, you're not doing anything. Miss she Rick. does have one ear. <laughs> Wait, really? I should have said that. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I shot off her ear. She's. You, did you say she's uh, she's out here now? Yep. Apparently yeah, she was. I'm not sure if she's stationed, but she was here with me. Well, apparently she's. Told <laughs> Pavis that Alice will take the deal if she could stay in tumbleweed and play poker. So I reckon that means she done something stupid up in the you know up in the green. It's interesting though. They, so they, there's quite a lot of law then around. Out west these days. I'm trying to get a lot in of good folk with them, moving right? down there. So, so I'm giving them all houses and shit. I've built, become like a realtor, right? But I have no idea if anybody lives in the house. It's, it's, well, <laughs> there's a few to people Dina? who live here. Yeah. You spoke yeah, to Dina and Clayton. Yeah, yeah. You have? All right. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. But, uh, yeah. Wait, Clayton, that's a guy called Iron Jaw Ugly, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think he's been called that. Yeah, not sure how he feels about that. I feel like that's a cool name. Well, anyways, I, I so yeah, I know where all the lawmen live down in, which is kind of neat. If we ever need anything, beautiful. Yeah, I'm trying to set this up low and slow this time, right? Thinking smaller. Tighter instead of you know, wider. Here to get some water. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. So the only sanctuary is this bar outside the walls. That's you know that's outside of my mm -hmm. my powers. I Speaking of outside. Howdy. All right. 
Some people say hello when they come in. Come on inside, eh? That guy is taking a few tries to come in. What's he doing? Uh, he he made it. He did it. Oh, he's reading the <laughs> Hitman poster. Did y'all read that? It's hilarious. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah this new he, fellow he put like it up our there. first day. Just put that up right, right there. Yeah, <laughs> came in on the boat yesterday, and he said, <laughs> "He said I need a bolt action rifle because I only hit headshots." <laughs> and then he hung that up on the wall, and he said, Hello. "That right hey, there man, means I'm you. legally sound." <laughs> Go read it. I'm it's gonna amazing. go read it. You should. <laughs> Professional problem solver, have you experienced a difficult situation in your life? Someone threatening your livelihood? Hire me and your problems go away permanently. No, no. I do talking to's, asset relocation, personal relocation, and much more. I'm a top tier marksman with years of experience. Problem eradication guaranteed, or your next problem's on me. Wow, get a load of that. I'm doing good, Ben. How are you? I'm all right. Here you are, sir. That hat makes absolutely no sense, but I love it. Here you go, Hazel. The more and more oh, every time I you? see it. How'd you even make that? That's, that's in, that, that, impressive. I want one of those. Well, it's a med set. It's really good. What would you want for me? Like, can you make one of those for me? Um, I, I bought this one. I, I can try. You bought it. What can I get for you, I sir? I thought you made it. Never yeah, mind. let's just take a beer. I it's a beer. beer. All right. I'm really not a fan of that that jacket, man. I'm sorry. Why? Oh shit! Welcome to Outdoors Why? Rest. It's just. What are y'all doing today? Smelly and yeah, shit, man. Yeah, not doing too bad. What, what are you into? It smelly? does smell like yeah, shit. Yeah, but it looks like it looks like yeah, tree bark, you know. You can hide with yeah. that. It sure yeah. doesn't smell like well, tree bark. Well, drinking food free here, so let me know what y'all want. Yeah, well, sure thing. We're just uh, here for a little piss stop, and it'll be that's probably true. pushing on through. So. True, but it's up yeah. there. Well, if you need a piss, that's out back. You don't have no indoor facility. Fair enough. What was that, Hazel? I can't. Telegram him and rob his ass. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. He's just gonna bask in his musk. Yeah. Little pissed up. I thought I would love it, Nerch. Mm. Alright. Yep. Worry. That's okay. It's okay. Give it time. It is okay. How's your evening, sir? I don't believe you met before. Wait, is that you guys? Uh, no, we haven't. Uh, name's Shields. It's a pleasure. No, You're Gus? Me? Pleasure to meet you. Name's no, I'm really Gus. Well, uh, I shot Gus. Say it again? Yeah, I was, I was there. Sir. B O O N. He uh, boom. Really. Pleasure to Welcome meet you. Welcome to Outlaws no, Rest, where you leave your affiliations at the door. Appreciate it. Thank you. Should yeah, we, uh. Yeah, yeah, should we. My first time, uh, this far west try to get more information about the, uh. You know, the Lobos? Not right now, not to, no, I don't think so, not with fucking shields here. Oh, he's a deputy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we get the fuck out of here? Mm. There was uh, another one that I don't think has come in. Oh, wait, maybe... Yeah, I think there was one more that might still be outside. I'm Alice sure. just went by out by herself. Hey, Nash! But I find him a good fella. I think we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting crowded. Stop heading out of the west a little bit further. Uh, we should go to Tumbleweed, Bridget's out west. Alright, let's do it. Alright. I'll tell her we'll go there. Clayton's gonna love to hear what Riggs said to Mills. It's gonna fucking piss Clayton off. 
Did you ever write Roy? Yeah, <laughs> I told him to come here. But I, did talk, <laughs> I, I told him to uh, head further out the west if he, and uh, just send me a telegram. So he hasn't got back to me since my first telegram, so I don't even think he's awake. All right. Nash's coat must be hot and musky in the heat. He took it off. I still can't believe Rig said that to me. I'm sorry. She's wrong. done so much for that fucking woman. She's fucking selfish. There you are, right? Oh, part of me wants to go fucking chop her down. Send her to her husband. I don't know, but today, uh, she's getting no more fucking favors from me. line has been drawn. I'm never doing nothing with her again. She doesn't deserve it. Please someone shoot that bird. <laughs> Piss me off. <laughs> that bird has dodging abilities. Um I'm telling you, the birds are evolving. Meeting went... No, I, the meeting went exactly OOC how I wanted it to. Uh, it actually went perfect. I wanted there to be a war. But at the end, Riggs made a comment saying that Mills was... Uh, what was the exact words? She said that Mills threatened her. And Mills said, like, what do you mean? I never fucking threatened you. She said, uh, if we shot them, you guys would have turned on us. And I said, yeah, the exact same terms were for them. Just to make sure no one got shot down today. Because we're putting this together for you guys. She said, well, I only showed up here because I had respect for you. But if you're gonna turn your back on me... Something about turning your back on me, and Mills is like... Motherfucker, you wanna talk about turning backs on people? 
you stabbed me in my fucking back and you turned your back on Baz and le led him to get killed. So he's done with her. And once Mills tells Clayton this, I don't know what Clayton's gonna do. No, it's not. That's May and Billy. So, like, the meeting would have been exactly how we wanted it to be. But that comment rigs through and at the end really pushed Mills away. He's cutting ties with her. He's done with her. She's getting no more favors. There's a lot of people here. There are. Is that Malto? And Pavis and Harper. Oh. Wonderful. You want to go say hi to Pavis? Yes. Of <laughs> course I do. Trouble it, trouble it. Hi. Howdy. How Doing Slightly. good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're seeing y'all down here this way. Okay. How uh. much laws in town? Uh, Just them two? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know for Why? sure. Have you, uh, have you seen Bridget? Mm, she's I don't think so. Not here yet, then. Oh, All right. No, we just been traveling around, just you know. You Fun. threatened her not to ride mm -hmm. on Thieves Landing it's before the meeting you. was even it's set up. Too. Yeah, and then when I met with her, today. I told her that oh, I know, I know, I was <laughs> asking course. for too much, <laughs> and I said that's <laughs> off. You know us. I'm, I'll ride. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Yeah, you as well. Mm -hmm. What if you serve your sentence, but we tell her that we're serving the sentence playing poker and tumbleweed? That's right. <laughs> um, I could be okay with that. Hey, wait. Did see Harper, didn't you? What was that? I did, did yeah. Sheriff Harper. Okay, okay. There's two of them sure. over there. All right, Bianca. So we're about to go pick hunting, so still when we all go in separate directions, I think everything's gonna be fine. No, it's right. We're hunting too. Oh good. That's well, right. Awesome. What are you hunting for? I need some peaches. All right. Howdy. Pavy Pav, are you in there? Where did they go? There's Harper and Edie. I need food. Went looking for backup, maybe. Did you see where Pavis went? Uh, I have no idea who that is. Oh, it's the other deputy. Harper, did you? Where did Pavis go? It's not Pavis, that's, um... Uh, oh shoot, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, Josie? Oh, okay. Well, if you see Pavis, let her know that we want to talk. I see. Dennis, you will. Oh, there's Harper and Edie.
Is that Bridget? Hi. How are you doing, been. Bridget? <laughs> Good. Howdy, fella. That's a Howdy. Clink, thank you for the follow. Yeah. He said howdy. Oh. Must be yeah, that's, uh, that's Nash. Nash, this is Bridget Davis. But yeah, I, 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 I did, I did tell, Sorry. I did tell Riggs well, that. Yeah. Uh, I was asking for too much Beautiful. for that Beautiful. thieves thing, huh? and uh. Yeah, it's your ass. Yeah. Okay, my apologies for picking but, this one. Uh, I said that's there all. There's like 20 no, people it's... that rolled in afterwards. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Where did all these people come from? Yeah. There's quite a few people in Armadillo as well. Oh, well, never mind. I guess that's them. Yep. Don't forget anyone's, anyone here is on duty right now. Don't yeah, no, they're they not. A fuck. I spoke to Harper. He said Hello again. he's on a vacation or something. Let's a play vacation? some fucking poker, eh? Or we could go hunting. I would... uh, you think that's a good idea? <laughs> I, I know they aren't clocked in, but that don't mean they ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Especially with uh, some people here. If I wanted to play, I don't have enough money anyway. Is that Boone? Hello, Miss Bridge. I could, well, how did I could cut. No, I could cut. Oh. All right. I mean, I'm fine with playing. I'm fine with leaving. It's up to you. I don't think it's a good idea. Not with all these people. Oh my nice god, nice. I think I just saw Pip's haired twin over there. What? Oh I think he had the Where? same the same beard and the the long tomahawk or what or not tomahawk oh, mohawk. No, it's, it's Matto with a fucking um mask on his face. Oh okay. I gave him a pretty good scare earlier. <laughs> Did I, wrote, you? Wrote up, I wrote up on Benedict Point with my mask on because it was oh. dusty. <laughs> Bridget, have you seen that. any uh, Adele Lobos? Uh, yeah, actually. Not today, but yesterday they were in uh, Saint Denis. What were they doing way out there? Mm, they're in disguise. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they're hiding where people least expect them? Pretty much. That's Interesting. Are, are y'all looking for them? Y'all need to find them? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, they're dressed up like dock workers, or they were, two of them were, and then, uh, I guess La Nina, right? Yeah. Uh, she's, she's dressed up like a grandma. <laughs> All That's right. That's a pretty clever disguise. Did they change their hair and everything? Oh, uh, yeah. She looks like a little grandma, like gray hair, pinned up and everything. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what color her dress is? No, I don't remember. All right, well that's enough she to go off. She's in some kind of dress though. She's got glasses on. All right. But, uh, as far as seeing them today, I haven't seen them today or heard about them today, so I don't think that they're out here. Oh my head. Oh. All right, I want to ask you guys while we're loading back in. Who's in? Who do you guys personally think is in the wrong? Or can we get a poll set up? Who's in the wrong and who's in the right? Thieves or the ranch? Very curious. So I guess just do who's in the wrong, thieves or the ranch? I just got in, so I don't know. I don't think there is a right or wrong, just two groups trying to create conflict. It's just two, they're both bullheaded. 
They're they're both bullheaded. I'll recap the meeting in a little bit. I'll go over it later. Um, what about okay? What do you guys think about the rigs and mills conflict right now? Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, hey, hey, Mills. Howdy. I'm glad you took that fucking jacket off. It was getting musty. I'm whispering, I'm whispering. We didn't say anything, right? We didn't say anything. Thank you. Pip, were they, were they speaking bad about me? Do I got something on my lip? You're no, fine. man. No. No, man. <laughs> no. They're just fucking with you. No. No, they weren't. They weren't talking bad about you. Back. No. No, we weren't, but Pip was. You remember when that, that one time when Bridget saw it? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you mm -hmm. say? <laughs> Nothing. We're just talking about the, the ridge at the end of the road over here. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean when we made our amazing getaway after getting chased by six lawmen? I wasn't there for that. Okay, well, you missed out. We were all Did you here just turn left? No, oh, no, yeah, we, I remember we, that. Uh, we were down here. Went up here on that little uh, runway. And then oh. Never mind. She really doing the whole round. I, I guess so. And then you got away here. Yeah. I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a pretty great getaway. So Pip, we, we had to lasso a, a random wild horse and get away on that because poor uh, Ringo was completely out of it. Oh, I had to do that before. Pip, you remember yeah. when? Uh, me, you, and Jack were riding out here, and then yes. out of nowhere, six lawmen were just behind us, and we uh, we all ran, and the law started shooting at us. Well, they used to take one of their horses down, and then I ended up hiding in a bush for like 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we all separated, Jack, Pip, and I, we all fucking separated, and uh, they killed one of my, ho they killed my horse. And then I ran and hid in a bush, and they passed me, and I went and tamed a wild horse. And we all met up. We all made it away from Six Law. <laughs> and then Jack smacked Danny Kerrigan over the head with a shotgun. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Jesus. He deserved it. Yeah, he probably did. So I was gonna say, Pip, we could, we could do two things. I mean, we could check Saint Denis for our disguised friends, or we could play mm -hmm. some poker. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind play, playing some poker. The Del Lobos, if they're, if they're in this, why? I'm just questioning why are they doing this? Why are they there? Why are they in disguise? Apparently, they cut up some doctor. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what this is about. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. I ain't really in agreement with that. Where'd you hear that from, Bridget? From them directly. Didn't they say why they did it? Uh, they were close to law, I think. She said that she had this idea of targeting. I completely that agree, to law, Tommy. One hundred percent. Kai's killing it. Instead of targeting the law directly. <laughs> She is fucking scary. Yeah, she said, uh, she kidnapped the doctor, took him up to uh, Mount Hagen, and uh, played little games with him. That's what she said. I just kind of, you know, agreed with her because I was kind of surrounded, but that <laughs> didn't, quite, didn't quite sit right with me. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, yeah. You guys up for some poker? Jesse, yeah. that's because well, no one wants to challenge yeah, the Cattlemen gang. Place. It's, uh... Benedict Point, grab some money. Good old. I finally got my storage out of the Bastille. <laughs> nice. I gotta travel from one end to the other. And that's why we're trying to really push people to... Really, I'm gonna think of you for a little bit. All right. We're trying to push people to... Conflict. Hey, you know what? I'm uh, I'm actually gonna head back. I'm gonna go to bed. You All right. You go to bed, my friend. All right. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting fucking late. I uh, I gotta go to sleep. All right, All right Nash. Take, Take it easy, sleep. friend. Thank you. Yeah, I know. That's what, you know, the, the the safety net thing is kind of what I'm trying to do on Mills, too. I'm really pushing people and making some, some ridiculous claims. Kind of on a power trip. And, uh... That's what Jack and Baz were trying to do with the safety net, but no one really challenged them. Pudgy doesn't want to be next to those smelly horses. Oh god! Yeah, I think the both bars thing is excessive, which is why Mills brought up when they met down here. Mills said, do you really want the bar or do you just want the bar to rub it in their face? And they couldn't really answer. What you doing? I think she's thinking about how handsome I am. Understandable. Annabelle's the only reason the bar had life, which is, I think that's fair as well. Oh, fuck. I don't have enough money. Oh, here. What are we buying in for, Pip? Hundred. Let's do it. Thank you. I hope I sit in one of these comically small chairs. Yes. Is Nash joining us? No, he went to go to bed, but Bridget's on her way. All right. There she is. I'm gonna zone out on this first hand. I gotta take a piss, guys. All right. Woohoo. Been a while since we played poker together. That's for sure. Ready to lose your money, Bridget? <laughs> we'll see, Pip. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I... <laughs> we'll see. <coughs> oh my god. Keep, I'm keep fine. Together, Pip. I'm totally fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I'll raise this. I'm feeling lucky. Are you now? He's got like pocket something. <laughs> it's at the point, like uh, in character wise, that um, after what Riggs told Mills today. Yeah, he's got something pocket. I wish I had something, but I don't. Um, it's at the point if Jack comes back and joins <laughs> and decides to join with Riggs. Fuck you, pimp. Mills will uh feel ah, fucking cool. brutally betrayed by Jack yeah, after explaining well. everything, and Jack still decides to join with Riggs. Mills will uh. I had nothing. Yep, yep. Yep. Fucking knew it. I kind of figured. Mills would probably have to turn his back on Jack. Be the hardest thing ever, but bluffing. it's just backstabbing. He did the same fucking thing to me the other day. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Several is this? times. And males. And a male. He's right. When are we finally gonna shoot someone? We're gonna fucking. We're going after the Del Lobos. And a, a five and a four. Man, that would hurt. I know. But it would make all like the in character sense. Four, five, six. Can we get a seven? Let me see a dollar. Wow. Yeah, I'll call that. But if someone has a 10, they're going to win the straight. Mel's trigger finger has to be itching. It is. 100% it is. So, um, I could... Tell, fill you guys in what what happened at the meeting so they met up all right they met up we were there to mediate okay i almost had a headache there <laughs> but they uh -oh. both came with the uh, please no hang in ridiculous what they're asking for o honestly what i think i think thieves what thieves is asking for is more right um thieves is just asking for you know, like if we if we want to jack someone $2. from Blackwater as a hostage, we we can. <laughs> the saloon thing, I don't agree with. Watch out, let's have to the con. If since they they have two saloons now, to, oh. I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> but the rest of the shit that like the ranch is asking it? for, it's 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 a lot. What? I had a pair of so yeah, that that's what happened. Yeah, uh, the, I, I feel like the fa face cards just. <sighs> Yeah, and with two pairs, that, it's really strange. It happens all the time. That's all right. You started with less than you did. So, yeah, they, they both asked for ridiculous things, basically. And, um... I... Two nine off suit. With this hand. Yeah, this is fucking shit. I'm just I'm folding immediately. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same as that bad. And uh and then towards the end it just it just became people insulting each other. Riggs insulted uh Bonnie Jack's daughter. Bonnie Jack insulted said that she led to Baz's death, which Mills 100% agrees with, by the way. By the way. Um, but they were just insulting each other. Oh, so Mills and Pip stepped in and they said, all right, this is fucking pointless. And then they just told Thieves to ride out. And then at the end, that's when Riggs made the comment to Mills saying like he betrayed her and he threatened her. Stop. Don't do it. And she said he turned, he like stabbed her in the bag, Fuck which you. was gold. Fuck you, Pam. Ah! 
called it. Fuck you. <laughs> Thieves Landing doesn't want a ranch crew in Thieves Wait Landing too. Oh yeah, that's true. You you had the one pair kings. But like you know, the ranch wouldn't want Thieves Landing in the ranch, so I think that's just mutual. Fucks everyone, I guess. Oh wait, no, you did not. You did have the high card. You had queen, yeah. Oh, I had, I had, I had, a, I had a ten and a jack. My bad. Uh... Looks like Jack will hopefully be the only one to not forget what Baz wanted, and to try and fulfill his wishes, wishes and what he built. Everybody else seemed to forget. We'll let him, let Bat or let Jack make that decision. Riggs can't keep fucking making, you know, Mills just feels very betrayed because he was trying to do this. That way Riggs wouldn't get hurt. That was the main thing because uh, he cares about Riggs and he had a soft spot in his heart for her. And if Jack chooses the idea of Baz and Riggs keeps Jeez. making these, you know, doing these things and Baz or uh, Jack still chooses to uh, side with him or with her, then that's just uh, Mills, Mil Mills and Clayton would probably be together. I just want to see what the flop is. Riggs, I wouldn't threaten you. If there was a threat involved, you would be on the ground. Sheesh. I'm going to save that. God damn it, Pip. That's fire, Tommy. All the time. I know, he just has so much money, he just feels the need to throw it around. <laughs> <laughs> but does Mills think uh, Riggs blames herself for Baz's death? Probably making her a, a bit crazy to hear that burden. Or to bear that burden. <laughs> you would like to. Know. I don't know. She plays it off. Even Pip hey, said she plays it all. She came out of Sisica and she acted like nothing was wrong. $11.50. All right. So it's either in her head she has that thought, but when she came out, she okay. acted like nothing you was. Actually had something. Can I get decent cards, please? Which deck is this again? Is this Blackwater? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Effie hampered her with that point. She is feeling Blue it and back. denying Similar it to herself. To the, uh, I think. Oh, dude, back. we need to talk to Effie. I want Effie's. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're guessing off of? Mills Blue needs back? to talk to Effie. Yeah, because I, I, I want to... Uh, in fact, Todd... Mind you, he's probably not going to sell it to me now after fucking today, but yeah, Todd was going to sell me a Sam's favorite for real fucking cheap. Oh, and it's got a nice red back. How cheap is cheap? Dude, this is so uh, whack. We're getting absolutely like nothing, guys. I, think you said. Wow. I haven't had luck in poker in a long time. He wanted to create a... <laughs> We're still going on about the militia thing. You're kidding. That's a little scary. God damn. No. Colliding neurons, yeah. I mean, he is responsible at the end of the day, but I, the the effect of Riggs turning herself in this? really you got, uh, you drove got? him towards that. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the queen. That was scary. Ooh. What 
is this one? Uh, this one is anime ales. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Animals. Animals. Okay, we got the pair of fives. Check it. Peculiar. Molly was the Genesis. Or no, Riggs was the Genesis and Molly was whatever the last chapter of the Bible is. We're going to bluff. Hmm. I'll raise that. God damn it. I'll call. I just want to see. Another five, please. Three, four, five. <laughs> I think we have to go in for a ridiculous amount. Seven dollars. Let's play. I'm good. <laughs> the pair of fives, please. Yes! Fuck. <laughs> wow. I was thinking about bluffing the ace, but I thought mm, someone's <laughs> probably got it. Like, we get a strong card, and then our other card is just complete shit. Queen three offsuit. I don't think there's going to be a world where Clayton, Mills, and Riggs are ever in the same gang again. I have to see. I have to see. <laughs> Ow. What she got? The what she got? It's going to cost you to find out. How much is it gonna cost? Twenty dollars. No, it ain't. Yes. No, Pip. All right, what the you know what? Fuck? You can have it. Like I say, he's just throwing his money around. What you mean? You got he, more he money got than shit. me. <laughs> I had you a straight. <laughs> I'm not giving up. All right. Keep that hope. All right, this isn't. Eh, this is an all right hand. Being awfully quiet, Mills. I don't like it. I got a lot going on in my head. I want to talk to Effie. We should go. Get this game. 
I feel like I need Effie's wisdom here. <laughs> She's a very smart lady. She is. Seven, eight, nine. Got nothing. Damn, I had a king too. Lord. Pip's gonna raise just about every round. Yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right. See, Bridget, you gotta push them all in. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> He's gonna raise you. Ten dollars. <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't falling for it. I ain't falling for it. Watch him have nothing. Nah, he's got something. No, nah, he's got nothing. Come on, Pip. He probably had Come like on. a pair of he sevens. Nothing. He had yeah, fucking he had nothing. nothing. Probably. <laughs> You'll never know, will you? You'll yeah. never know. We can only go. If I had something a little bit stronger, I would have went for it, but... Or they kill all the lawmen in the crossing. <laughs> I don't know, Mills might be on Only board with like fucking up the law. Well, Especially what they wait, did to him. This one actually, no, I can't tell. So it fucks. Uh, sometimes I look at the cards and I think that they're, it's red or black. You know, there's one card that the colors are very neutral on. Is this the one or is that Sam's favorite? I can't remember. I'm chatting out my ass. I'm not too <laughs> sure what you're talking about. Talking about the, the colors like red and black, like between red and black, like it's kind of hard to tell. Oh. Um, like there's a certain deck that that's that way. Yeah, and I thought it was this one, but I was just uh, look. At, <laughs> I just misread uh, my card. I... Spaghetti. <laughs> no one's gonna say anything. No one's gonna say anything after that. Five dollars. Pep. You know I, I'm gonna match you. <laughs> oh, I'm raising. Oh okay. my god. No. I don't match it! <laughs> match it. I'll raise it! Are you fucking kidding me right now? Alright, fuck Pep. you. No, I'm out! I'm out! Oh, oh shit. No. I'll call that. Another seven. Push me all in. Give me a king on the river. You ready to uh, lose your sixteen dollars fifty, mate? Go, push me! Come on. Seven on the river. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> uh, how could you? <laughs> fucking pit You're a fiend. Shit pile. You're a fucking fiend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think I'm gonna go try to find Effie. Back to his hand. I don't think she's very hard to find. Not really. No, I don't want to rush you. You guys can enjoy your cards. No, I'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll come with you, Mills. Yeah, I'd like to see you. Well, I mean, so. uh, unless you're saying that you want to speak to her privately. No, no, it's fine.
tip folding. Wow. I'm so I didn't like my hand. Okay. Wow. When has that ever stopped you, Pip? Yeah, Pip. All right, Alice, what you got? Uh, nothing. Okay, what about, is it $2 worth of something? I don't know. Not really, but I'll play. Okay. Of course, the hand I get something. <laughs> Fucking pit folds! <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does! Look at far lap. Oh, I'm sorry. God, you know what? I didn't, even, I didn't even. I forgot that that was the last round. I can so I would have uh, actually stuck it stuck in there, but I would have lost anyway. So. And a pair of fours. Be careful, Far Life gets very jealous. Yeah, I noticed. Oh no, is he following? Fuck. Oh no. Yeah. I think he's gonna try and kill me. Look at him, he's already trying. Oh, he's upset. Farlap is such a bully. It's fucking insane. Oh shit! By the way, Dammy, do you want to uh, do you want to sell me some mash? Uh, do you want to do it down here? Oh, you got dinner table then? Yeah, you got the rose then or whatever. All right, that'll work. Don't leave me back here with this uh, demon I'll take, horse. I'll take, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're in a really dangerous spot. Oh god. <gasps> How dare you! What did you say? He's not okay. What's wrong with your horse? <laughs> yeah. He just decided, well, oh, there, here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit far behind, but he'll catch up, eh? about just whistling in your ear. Yeah, that's all right. Nice, pleasant little whistles. Can't believe you've done this, Pip. Come on, Farlap. Oh, he's catching up. He's fucking coming. <laughs> oh, no. It's that jealous... I can't imagine anyone ever being jealous. 
<laughs> Is Alice gonna say anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the cold. Mm -hmm. God forbid a woman loves a man. <laughs> God forbid. want to see what Effie's going to think of the whole thing. Yeah. Me too. She'll have some good advice, though. She always does. Oh shit. That wasn't me, I think it was Bridget. Oh fuck, I, I didn't even see you shoot. <laughs> what you didn't see me shoot? I didn't even see you shoot. Oh. To be fair, oh, I didn't Sam either. I believe the fellow pulled out a fucking gun just because I smacked his hat <laughs> off. Very sensitive. Time to get bullheaded again. I'm ready for it. Question is, who wants it? Barely ever. It's, this is the. Uh, this is Finnis. This is. What's his name's gun? Rev Lane's gun. <laughs> you still um, have that? Yeah, man. It's mine now. Is Rev Lane dead? Rev some fucking member of some European syndicate. Oh, God. Na nice tasting guns, though.
He was alright to be honest. Jack had a lot of hope for him, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be. He was he way too gun. sneaky though. He was always like getting information and it was just like a kind of unbelievable how like much information. That is a wagon with no one yeah. on it. Mm hmm. Holy fuck. What the, the hell? What the hell is going on? I went on a wagon with a horse following me. I just didn't see the person on the actual wagon. I, I saw the person on the wagon. Oh, okay. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. A little bit, I Didn't see you shooting, didn't see the person. Might need a little bit of a nap. But, uh, maybe wait till we get to uh, Effie's. Some weird shit's going on. Yeah. Uh, no. People tied up. Yeah. Were they going towards, they going towards Blackwood? Or yeah, something? they were going towards Blackwood. Alright, who was it? I have no idea. Probably I didn't... Ranch Lord. I didn't yeah, see I anyone. Like... Yeah, neither did oh. I. Yeah, this big group coming up from the left uh, and heading towards Blackwater. It looked like at least like two people on the back of their horses, uh, incapacitated looking. Oh. Good, let them kill each other. <laughs> you think they had like another one of those shootouts? Probably. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna check my telegrams really quick. Bath at the ranch. So many shot down. All right. That's probably what I just saw. Bloodbath at the ranch. So, yeah, I got the same telegram. It's not our fucking problem, Pip. I forgot. What is Bianca's telegram number? Doesn't feel right. But yet, we tried our best. Eh? CH621. We were willing to take a side, but then the fucking way that they. Ah. They they just had to honor the peace talks, didn't they? They just had to honor the peace talks. None of them could have, could have fucking shot first. They, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. 
Uh, don't. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, I think when we get to the manor, I'm I'm gonna take a quick nap. I I'm just yeah. All right. My head feels weird. You know, Pip. I tried to tell them not to shed blood at where Baz was buried or where you know Wade was buried, but. They're gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day. And it's not my place to say. I even told Riggs that... I understand asking for you not to attack thieves is a lot, uh, so I'm... Do what you will. And she still had the audacity to say that I fucking turned my back on her. You know what sucks as well? What Bonnie said. It's true. We were all thinking the same thing and yeah. we, could, we couldn't defend her on that point. It fucking sucks, eh? But she fucking... As, uh, as much as I hated, she made her bed. Yeah. Hey bro, can you turn... There you go, what's up fam? I look like shit right now. Very... Very tired. Sorry, I didn't see you, you uh, redeemed that a while back. Why Mills has already said he would shoot anyone who spilled blood there. I mean, I but that. A lot of riders. I don't see anyone though. That just feels so forced, you know. Tell. Telling people where to spill blood, where not to. It's a war, and it ju that just feels so fucking forced. He said I match my voice. It was honestly probably law responding to uh, the gunshots or whatever. That's what I was thinking too. They probably needed doctors. And doctors probably spoke straight to the law. Wait, can, did, did doctors uh, read anonymous no. telegrams? No, it's just law. Oh shit, okay. So you gotta get the doctor's telegram numbers directly. That's right. You, well, you probably already know, Alice, but apparently uh, the law had all the doctors on lockdown in Rhodes when y'all needed to uh, yeah. care for Vivian. Ain't that fucked up? Yeah. Managed to get Lucille. But, uh, she told us about it. Yep. That's why one of the most important things and a principle that we followed from the beginning is you never fuck with doctors because they're the ones that are going to save your life when you're bleeding out. Yeah, I agree. I just think that's real fucked up from the law side. Yeah, no, keep of course. Mm -hmm. Keep somebody from getting treated. So innocent of that. Vivian hasn't done anything wrong. They probably thought it was Is Vivian me. okay? Is she dead? Maybe. And no, she's fine. 
Oh, she okay. Got, uh, yeah. be panicking, and I was wondering when no, this no, happened. No. She's all right. It happened, what, right after they gunned me down? Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Probably thought was the I, same I was day. still out and loose. No, it was after I got Clyde out. Oh, okay. I guess when I saw her later, she uh, recovered. Cause, yeah. yeah. After the uh, whole bank situation, they tried to make... The law, or the, the law tried to make the doctors and Molly leave the room. The only people who were keeping me alive, they just, one of the lawmen had a gun in their hand. They just wanted me to bleed out, I think. Holy shit. Fuckers. We just want to protect people. Hey, bullshit. Not it's if not you've bullshit. been to Sisica once or have anything on your criminal record. Exactly. Then you're not a human anymore. That's right. No. Oh, the doors, the doors open. are open. I don't see Max. She's, she's up there on the balcony. I don't see her. It, no. I need no. to take a nap. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to take a nap. God, all right. Hey. Alice and I were both having... I couldn't see anyone riding. I couldn't see the guy on the cart. We were clearly having some... Uh, issues by the way if you guys are not in the discord the sinny sin club feel free to join share your pets and uh wait hold on we gotta get we gotta do this right you guys uh want to join the discord just exclamation point discord. We have wonderful channels in there. Including a pets channel where you could share your pets. Or a show your face channel that way you could show off how beautiful you are. Exclamation point discord today. Alright, that was fucking stupid. Load me in. I need to talk to Effie. Did that worker just steal someone's horse? Effie. Howdy. Is she not here right now? <laughs> am I... Am I... Instanced right now. Effie, can you see me? Do you guys know if I'm instanced? Bridget, can you see me? Yeah, I see you. Okay. Can, can Effie not see you? I don't know. She's coming down right now, I think. Okay. Howdy. Can you see us? Howdy. Yeah, I can Let me get my shoes. 
I can see you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Effie, I need okay. to talk to you. I need your wisdom. Okay. I guess we'll wait um, until Pip's back. Oh, did you have a headache? I have just, yeah, kind of, sort of. There was a lot. Okay. The, the air was really thick. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Everybody okay. kind of took a little nap. Pip included. Well, Alice, are you still wanted? Mm hmm all right, we'll can... go to the... No, no, we'll go to the granary. It's our new oh. secret meeting spot. <laughs> All right. Casa de la Mills. Is that Max yeah. <laughs> out there wandering around? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, just, okay. he's just... Look at him. He's such a happy little horse. He is. He is. He's and look, at how, look how pretty he is just wandering. I saw him running around the uh, property the other day. Yeah, he just... Yeah, he's on patrol. <laughs> he just does his own thing. Doing more work than yeah. the guards. Yep. I mean, he's a good attack horse. Um, why don't you head back there and wherever Pip is, I'll bring him back there too. All right. I just good. don't want them to scoop up Alice. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Did, did Bridget just disappear in front of my eyes or... Did she? Uh, I thought she walked off. Is she behind the tree? Oh. Maybe hot no, and dark. Uh, yeah. Go back there. You All can, right. Uh, <laughs> take Budgie back there, too. Patrol horse. Oh my gosh, can I hitch Budgie up in here? Oh. oh. He'll be fine. He won't move. On my way back to Blackwater, such poo-poo. Yeah, I feel like the servers are taking it today. <laughs> you missed, like, the whole meeting. That sucked. It's so cozy in here. It really is. <laughs> For a greenery, anyway. Did they, did they say it was flower? Is I'm just gonna is laid here. A bed roll is laid here. You all right? Yeah, I'm uh looking forward to Effie. What Effie's gonna say? She's gonna tell me to make my bed. Fussy horses. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to step on your bed. It's okay. Why does well, Pip have no side. shoes? On? This is this yeah. is where I've been sleeping, Pip. Very yeah, I was nice. gonna. I was gonna tell you, Pip, that you could probably sleep here. Oh no, Pip snores right. so fucking loud. No, I don't. I don't snore at all, motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> or upstairs. I don't know. I don't care. So he comes There's tumbling dancing. through the creaky room <laughs> on top of me. Perfect. Okay, uh. Just don't, don't, just don't tell Lucille, because she'll be... No, she'll... Man, fucker. 
I'm sorry, motherfucker. Okay. Well, I don't no. care what she thinks. Pip, you're walking on my bed. I even stepped over it. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. It's, it's all bed now. Oh. Okay, so what's what's going on? All right, Effie. So, you know, I talked to you the other day about how I, I set up this. Oh, Is she relevant for the conversation? And, uh, no, not really. But I, I set up the okay. meeting, you know, for uh, the, the two sides, the ranch and the thieves crew. That way, you know, I was trying to make it so they could at least maybe see eye to eye and blood wouldn't be spilled. You know, I was trying to make sure Riggs wouldn't be hurt. Because like I told you, I've I, I still somehow have a soft spot spot in my heart for her. Right. So they both agreed to it, and uh, Riggs is being you know she, the only, she said the only reason she's agreeing to it because she has respect for me. So they met today, okay. and they were both fucking irreasonable. They were basically just flexing their dicks the whole time. Saying, I want this, I want this, and they both said no. So I, Pip and I told them this isn't going anywhere. Just get on your horses and get the fuck out of here. So uh, 10 minutes ago, we were riding past Blackwater and we saw the thieves crew. Allegedly, what we saw, uh, they were riding with bodies from the ranch back to uh, Blackwater. So they've already attacking each other. Well, I mean, fuck it. It's not... If they didn't want to see eye to eye and they want to go ahead and kill each other over what, who cares? I mean, that's, you tried your best. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, but that's, this is, this is the, the nail in the coffin for me. You know, Riggs fucked me over hard. I, I got tortured every day in Sisica for her for five years. And then the day I get out, she basically turns herself in. At the meeting... In the middle of everyone, she looks at me, tells me I threatened her to be at the meeting. And then after the meeting, I said, what the fuck are you talking about threatened you? I said, if you don't want this to go down, I could cancel it and just tell thieves, you know, it's not happening. I gave her that opportunity multiple times. And she said, Mills, you ba she basically said I stabbed her in the back. Coming from her. Oh, Jesus. So what she said... That you threatened her to be there? What? How? In what I way? don't, I don't, Pip, do you remember what she said? That, that's basically it. And I told her. That I, was what she said. Yeah, she, yeah, she basically said that we threatened her so, so that she would come to the meeting. And what the threat was, was us, say, us basically saying to both parties that if either of, either of, if one of them were to start shooting at the peace talks, we would immediately side with, you know, the victim. Yeah, exactly. And that was just to keep people from shooting each other. You know, if thieves shot at them, we would have fucking gunned down thieves. It, it was just to make sure no one shot. And she saw that as a threat. It's, uh, it's real rich coming from someone who only thinks of herself. Yeah, and I, I fucking I saw that today. And, you know... It's really sad when, you know, they were throwing threats at each other and it was getting, you know, it was irrational, some of the threats that were being thrown out. But one, one threat that was thrown out was, uh, well, not really a threat, but, you know, they, they, Bonnie Jack told Riggs, you're the reason Baz is dead. And Pip and I kind of just looked at each other because, you know, we can't say anything because that, that's what happened. He'd still be alive. I mean, pending nothing else happened, he would still be alive right now. I completely agree. And, and what what did she what did she want out of this meeting? Like, what was her? What I don't think terms? she did want anything out there. Oh, she wanted uh, she wanted them to basically uh, Mills, you savage. What, what do you keep mean? To the Upper Montana, Lower Montana safety net, no hostages. They were, to be honest, they were they were pushing as well. They wanted they wanted the bar back for Annabelle as well as the right to take hostages in town. Um, yeah, the, neither side was really compromising. I don't think either of them wanted 
piece. I think they they were. Uh... Then they just wasted everybody's time by going there. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean I'm not here to besmirch rigs because at this point I'm completely cutting ties from her. If she tries anything with her with me, it's I'm I'm done with her. That was the nail in the coffin for me. But it ain't besmirchment if it's true. Yeah, when I first met with her after she got out of Sisica, she told me that the safety net is down and they can't hold it up. And then at the meeting, at the meeting, she says it's back up. Well, she can't hold it up because nobody respects her. I mean, I'm sorry. I was. I mean, respect her as a person. Yes, maybe. As you know, a friend. Yes, maybe. As someone who has power, nobody respects her. Everybody respected Baz. And Baz earned his respect, and she can't just have the respect that was given to Baz. She has to earn it. Yeah, she was well on the uh, she was well on the way, but then she she handed herself in. Yes. So, I don't know what. I mean, it sounds like you were trying to protect her. I was. Which is far more than she deserves from you, at the very least. Exactly. And you know, Clayton Stabbing in the back. wanted war with her. We, even I told Clayton basically, like, no. Like, I told her that Riggs is still fam like family. I'm going to stay away from her. But at this point, I really don't give a fuck anymore. That she fucking broke my heart. I can't believe she said that to me. Well, like I said, when I was, I was um, cross with all of you. Betrayal is the worst because it doesn't come from your enemies. It always comes from your friends. And that's why it hurts so much. So it sounds like you did the right thing. You cut ties. You let them kill each other. That's what I said when I was riding out. I mean, she's the only person that's really tying you to that ranch and anything that it happens over there. I mean, I know Baz is buried over there, but and you know what? Fuck them all. That's what I and said. I said, let them kill each other. And fuck that Bonnie Jack. You know, I kicked Annabelle and them out of here because I heard Bonnie Jack killed five innocent people. Now, that might be untrue. I feel the wise but I didn't woman. want to, none of that mess over here. Well, I don't think it was Mom and Jack. It was somebody in disguise. I'm assuming it was him, but I don't know him well enough to, you know, see through a disguise. Poncho Bandana was probably him. Yeah, putting on a Mexican accent. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess we just let them war with each other and see who's left standing. I thought, um, I thought that you and Jack and Clayton all came out of Thieves Land and whatever happened to that. That is true. Thieves was my home long before it was theirs. And I told Riggs to her face and I told Thieves, you know, Baz was my brother. I don't want bloodshed where his grave is. Neither. I have two or three brothers buried down at Thieves and I said, I'm neither there, but... I mean, I'm not going to fucking enforce that. Let them kill each other. No, you can't really. I mean, you can't tell people where exactly I to know. kill other people if they're going to be warring with each other. It sounds like you did the right thing, and I know it. it doesn't feel good to cut people out of your lives that you care about, but it sounds like she wasn't worth a damn anyway, and I already knew that, but I wasn't close to her to begin with. I have a lot of opinions on on Riggs. And you know them. I mean, I think she's a coward. She walked away from the badge. I know you don't like the law, but that law is supposed to be a family. And she walked away, and boo-hoo, they fired her. She, if she really cared that much, if she didn't care anymore, it shouldn't have been that bad. 
if you but care. It was, very, it was very easy for her to walk away. Exactly. That's and if it you was care. Very easy for her to walk away from Bayes. If you care for your family, you would fight tooth and nail for them. You wouldn't. And people, I mean, it, it is a little unfair because once you fall in love, you do stupid things. And your priorities change. Her priorities changed. But did she have to go shooting, killing, killing someone over losing a badge that she seems to not care about anyway? But I know that Banks was a bastard. I mean, you were there, Mills, weren't you? And, um, I've just realized that her last words to Banks were literally... She said, uh, Banks asked her what she cares about, basically, and she said, I'm doing this for my family. And then I get out of Sisica, and she calls me her family and fucking turns herself in. It's all clicking now. Yeah, she's selfish. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She's going to end up in a grave right next to Baz, and maybe that's what she wants. Maybe that's why she's acting this way. Maybe this is a suicide mission. She's bringing a lot of fucking Muppets down with her. That's what also pissed me off. Some fucking person I didn't even know from the ranch started speaking out to me. Saying that I was in the wrong, yada, yada, yada. Who? I don't, I don't know. Pip, did you know that girl? Uh, what? no idea. Was it Emma? I've, no, no, it wasn't Emma. Oh, I think it's. I think it was Delilah. I think that's her name. I think I played poker with her. She's 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 pretty fucking good at poker, annoyingly good. Well, she's good at running yeah. her mouth too. She'll end up fucking shot if she does that again. And all this, all this is going on. Where's Danny in all this? No idea. I didn't get my cream delivery. I'm pissed. Danny Shanny. That's right. Well, you know I mean, when that safety net was up and his own fucking little crew, Solomon crew, broke that shit? He didn't do nothing. Well, I, either way, I don't... I don't think Danny and Riggs 100% see eye to eye, but he will stand with her whatever she decides, I think. But I haven't seen him in a long time. The point of why I said that is because I didn't get my, I didn't get my cream, and if it's because Riggs decided that I don't get cream anymore, <laughs> which is fine. Don't worry, I'll rob a cream wagon and deliver it here. <laughs> it's got to be chocolate cream. All right. And um. Well. Anyway. I was the only oh, Tran person has COVID. Who, I hope he recovers. I was recovers. the only person buying cream when the Dicenzos left. I was the only person keeping Bez's goddamn dream alive this whole time. And I've uh, been cut off, I feel like. So you're just going to cut yourself off from rigs and the ranch and thieves and that's, what are you going to do now? That's the plan. <laughs> what was that laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't speak for everyone in, in, the, in the group. I'm speaking for myself. I'm not doing anything with fucking rigs anymore. And, uh... Mm. Well, I mean, it's obvious Alice is going to do whatever Mills is doing. Bridget doesn't give a fuck either way. No, nope, so it's really. only It's only Pip. What is Pip doing? I just know I'm going to rob who the hell I want to rob, when I want to rob him, where I want to rob him. That's, That's right. right. You go ahead, Bridget. Just don't leave Steven with me anymore. <laughs> Riggs, <laughs> <You> make... <laughs> okay, listen. I didn't leave him specifically <laughs> with her. She just happened to be in Roads at the time he I said, left him there. She said, and I quote, 
He's your responsibility now. And oh, you. Bridget. Let okay. Okay. Listen. I just, then, I just wanted to get rid of him. Okay. I'd been with him for when hours. We, okay. Jesus we tried Christ. to send a letter. We tried to send a letter. Uh oh. Did you? Oh no. She had an oh. headache. No. Oh. I, I did send them in a very nice letter. But honestly, though, Pip, like Pip, what do you? I really want to know what you think. I really gave Riggs a second chance. I was trying my hardest. Um, I know. I was kind of uh, shocked by what she said as well, and the fact that she, yeah, she turned on <laughs> on us. It just and to me, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all that uh, you know we saw that poor. At least we saw. Them leaving. Fuck. I don't know, Mills. Part of me feels shitty. And the other part of me... But, you know, I just feel shitty at the moment anyway. It's been a rough few days. Yeah. I'm kind of with Bridget here. I want to rob people. I want to fucking rob banks. It's time to... we we, we got to yeah, get this gold out of the fucking crossing as well, man. Yeah. It's... That whole no hostage in Blackwater... How the fuck are we supposed to rob a bank then in Blackwater? It's, uh, you know... Jack and Baz and Pip and I guess, I guess Riggs too, they, they all formed that safety net and people really fucking respected Jack, Baz, Pip. I, I, I can't... I can't... I can't speak for Riggs, but... I, I don't think it's gonna uphold now. It's just not. People don't respect her. I don't it's give like a FSA. shit who is sitting at the ranch making up that rule. That rule's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I, lo I just love how Evie is bad talking Riggs about turning herself in, but she did the same shit when she killed Nelson. I thought y'all were outlaws, thieves. Robbers. I, I said it from the beginning. I'm going to rob whoever the fuck I want, wherever the fuck I want. I told Riggs that too when I met with her. And that's when she told me. She said to my face that the safety net is down. This was literally a few days ago. And now at the meeting, she said the safety net is back up. See, I got so upset about Steven, I passed out. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your face is a little red. <laughs> Catch your breath. Can't look yes, that up again. I'm mad. No more Steven. Okay, listen. Oh I... no, it's my turn. Oh. No. But she not she had nothing to lose, Riggs did. Yeah. What are we doing about the safety net? We're fucking safety schmafty. We'll rob As a matter of fact, I think our next robbery, next person we rob is gonna be in Blackwater. They wanna enforce that safety net, they could fuck around and find out. Except she fucked up Jack, who did big prison time then for her. Well, that was because Jack killed, helped kill her husband. So, I mean, I feel like she's justified in that. Would you permit a Riggs? Uh, it would depend on the situation and the scene. But sugar is always moody. He always wants brushing. Her frustration always. passed on to me. <laughs> well, I'm just 
Keep in mind, it could go to any mo one of you next. <gasps> you will feel no. my wrath. <laughs> I just won't look at Pip. I just won't look at him. The light so, is kind of shining off his head from that window. Pip, can yes. you... You got a hat or something? I do. So here's uh, what I want to say to all of you. Besides Bridget, because Bridget wasn't involved and she's doing it, her own thing. Um, you three, you know, you know, we had, um, sorry, I'm being distracted. It's all right. By a Take your time. shiny head. Mm -hmm. Pit, That's okay. So you, have, you have a hat? Can you, can you put it on? No, we got to embrace the captain thumb. I know. I, I realized I, I was stepping out of all right, line. All right. Okay. Sorry. I was I was mad at all three of you, and I'm still a little upset and hurt. Wait, are you mad but, at me? No. Okay. But I can't let you back in the manor. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but I don't want to completely separate myself from all of you so i offer you my greenery you what now the, the greenery. greenery you can have it is this sleep you can have it eat here you can do whatever you want you can have your secret meetings here as oh. far as the law is concerned i want them to think that we still are hate each other but we're not close well not hate each other but you know yeah yeah Thank you, Rafi. Thank you. What and happens? I'll, I'll, out of I'll, curiosity, we just need to talk about this. What, what happens if they do track us down here? Do you want us to just not defend ourselves on your property and blag that uh, we, you didn't know nothing as, about it? As long as you're not up at the manor kicking your feet up and saying, fuck you to the law. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're back here and they find you and they shoot you, and then uh, as long as you say... Effie didn't know we were staying Yeah, we're there. doing it behind your bed. I forget yeah. how far away we are from the manor. Yeah. It's very far away. We could come in from... <laughs> they won't... You know, we could hide... Yeah, come from the back, hide our horses. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll... We'll... We'll do our best not to bring the law dogs down here. Well, I mean... They come down here anyway. But... I, I don't want to cut myself off. Because I, I care about all of you. We care about you, too. Yeah. Uh, I'll be your bank. Whatever. <laughs> That's just for Beth. <laughs> no, she's holding my money too. I got, oh, I got Mills' oh, yeah, money right. too. Okay, no, don't, I won't ask you for that, Effie. Don't worry. Well, I mean, I don't mind. But either way. Just. I'm, I'm trying to keep my nose clean. But I feel like I'm one step away from losing my mind and snapping on people. I mean, can, is there anything any of us can do? No. Yeah, I, no I know I what needs like... to be done. I know exactly what needs to be done. We need to get what? one of those big oil wagons, right? Oh. And we need to ride it right into roads. <laughs> and blow it up and burn that town down. That's what needs to happen. No, oh. I love roads. <laughs> oh, no, that's what's going to cause you to snap oh, is all those roads people. They don't maybe, bother me. I hardly maybe... talk to them. Yeah, maybe it's one of the things, you know, keeping her from snapping. Do you keep all your money in the roads bank? I, I have some money over there. I have um, some money in the manor. There's... I have a, a safe in the manor. All right, well, there's going to be a day where I... I, I it, you know, I, I don't know if it's asking too much, but you might want to move your money from the roads bank. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I mean, it's all insured, of all course. All right. I'm one of the only people in roads that can afford insurance. And, and Bridget, that plan that I just said to Effie, it involves an oil tank. I'm just, I'm leaving it there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm not doing nothing until Clyde gets out. I'm sorry. What the oh, fuck? Oh. Uh, Ow. Okay. 
I don't even know what to say. I, I don't know either. But I will help y'all, of course. It's like I tell everybody, if I'm having a conversation with somebody and somebody rolls up and pulls a gun on you, I'm going to put a gun on them. That's my stance on the stuff right now. I agree. I'm not going to say my hands are completely clean. If y'all need help, hell, I was willing to help y'all break Pip out yesterday. But uh, I'm trying not to go back to Sisica since Slide yeah. is supposed to be getting out pretty soon. What happened with all that? Why did you get arrested for? Who, Pip? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, they saw you two uh, and came over. Uh, well, and then they saw Farlap running in. And then I crashed into one of them on the way out. And the uh, Red and Queen rigs is the Black to distract Queen. Them. And, and they wanted to speak to me. So I just did a runner. About what? I was feeling good. I don't know. Oh, about. Oh, yeah. About uh, a little accident with uh, hmm. Lark. Oh, I see. Little accident. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. A little accident almost cut her oh. in half. Were you charged for it? Yeah. I we all make it. mistakes, I Pip. Denied, I denied it to the end, but I still got charged. But how did they know about it? You said nobody knew you did it. Well, the, the only people that didn't know was Lark and the people with us. Well, she, she probably didn't like because she was unconscious. Well, yeah, we woke her back up, remember? Well, yeah, but I hadn't fucked up <laughs> by that after yeah, that. She was un she, yeah, she was unconscious uh, for a while. Yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense. She probably recognized you or something. Well, we were all in disguises. Uh, McGregor said they had a lot of circumstantial evidence but then they also had something like that pretty much pinned it on me but he wouldn't tell me what that was someone had to have spoke none of us spoke yeah none of us would speak there was just the four of us you don't oh, think well. those people that we met the uh the ones near that uh emerald ranch probably said something about you and that machete you know, those fellas that we talked to, uh, who was that? Jody Quinn and his boys? I hear he's a vigilante Maybe. now. A vigilante? Mm-hmm. What does that even mean? A vigilante for who? You're saying uh, he's like a lawman people. without a law, without, without yep. a badge? Yep. That's what I heard, anyway. Rhodes schmodes. That whole fucking community hates me. <laughs> I mean, you did take the picture with all of them in it. It's okay. God forbid a man, you know, <laughs> robs robs the gun store, robs the saloon, robs the general store. And takes yeah, their community fo <laughs> community photo. They're basically Why, part of the community now. They were just... Is this what this all... is? You want to be part of the community? I did draw our faces you're... on the, the picture is after we stole it. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're mad? You want to be part of the, a community? Mills feels left out. So he's I don't taking know. It out I, on... no, it's, I, the principle. it's the principle, it Effie. The principle. I even, I went out of my that's way. That's what your gang name should be, the principal. <laughs> it's not bad. I cut out, I cut out, uh, what's his name? Deputy Monroe's mother from the picture and I gave it to him. See, I'm reasonable. Fuck him anyway. They didn't come and say, Effie, I know, you know, you're part of Rhodes. You want to come take a picture with all of us? No. They act like I'm part of that community, but when it comes down to it, I'm not part of the community photo. I still Do have we, the picture. It's on Budgie. It. I'm going to draw her on. Yeah.
Sit <laughs> down. Look, see that that bald one there? That's Pip. It's right. It's right. The, the one with an eye patch. That's me. Yep. And then the one that I I colored all over in black. That's Alice, cause she always wears black. And now, we're adding Effie to the photo. And pick a redhead. You think that one will work? The third to the right. Hmm. No, I don't like her. That other redhead. Okay, Just bottom left. Dress. There we go. You know what? It's beautiful. I'm gonna frame this upstairs. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh. Yeah, what's your step, man? Yeah, I'll be careful, Pip. I'm not as fucking clumsy as you. What do you think about this? All this uh, You've been. Oh, oh God. <laughs> See? Okay. Oh, loose floor How bird. That maybe you shouldn't go up there. Jesus. My back. <laughs> this is not a playground. I just want you to know that. Oh, I'm gonna God. sit back down. <laughs> What do yeah, I think yeah. about all this? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it is what it is at this point. What kind do you of, think uh... Jack will do if he comes back? And it, will that influence what you all do? I've kind of made it up in my mind that, which, it's going to be heavy on Pip, I understand, but if Jack chooses, I, 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 it comes down to this at the end of the day. Everyone, you know, we love rigs because of because of what we went through. And everyone wants to re respect her wishes because it was Baz's wishes. But how many fuck-ups can she keep doing and passes does she get? Just because we're supposed to respect Baz's wish. So if Jack comes back and he... And I, I explain everything to him and how she fucked me over and she's constantly doing it. And the things she said to me and how I gave her another chance. And if he chooses Riggs over me, then that's... I, I fucking love Baz. I've been there... Or not Baz, Jack. I've been there since the beginning, but that's just... That's a little too much for me. If he's choosing her over me. Well... Yeah. You all know how I feel about Jack. Anyway, he's going to be pissed off when he finds out I turned myself in to screw him over. But I wasn't going to sit there and thank the person who helped murder Emmett. Thank you for turning... You know, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't lower myself to thanking a person that had something to do with my husband's murder. And I hope you understand that. Yeah. I don't know. I hope Jack just agrees with the sentiment of cutting ties with everyone and just being ourselves again. Yeah, well. Hopefully he takes the whole thing really well. And the whole Lucille thing really well, and he just walks away when he comes here. I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna talk in what ifs. We'll see what happens when he gets back. 
I know where Clayton stands in the whole thing. Well, he's welcome to stay in the granary as long as he stays out of the house. But he has to come and apologize to me first. That's tough. That fella... I, I don't think I've ever heard him say, I'm sorry. Well, then... Then he can't stay in the granary. <laughs> Pip, have you ever heard Jack say, I'm sorry? Not Jack. Clayton. Oh, Clayton. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about Jack. No, Clayton. Oh, no, I don't. I don't expect Jack to Yeah, that's say fine. He's that's sorry. fair. I, I'm very understanding of the fact that, you know, Emmett almost killed Jack. And I can understand why he would want Emmett dead. I understand that. I would never expect him to apologize, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be happy with him either. But Clayton tried to rob me. He did. He still has my jewelry and some of my lesser nice china. He didn't get my good gravy boats. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just realized I have to take a fucking quick nap. Really quick. What do you mean? It's I uh, my head hurts. Okay. Thank you, Effie. Are oh. we gonna you're, you're welcome? Guys, I, I have to do a fucking business call. We're gonna raid oh. someone. I have to go right now, though. Holy fuck, I completely forgot. I just, you know, it was making me... When Bridget and Clyde left, I knew... I'll be back okay later to tonight. Immediately to stay. They stayed at the Bastille, and they did really well for themselves. But who knows where the hell... You, you all go out and sleep in the woods. On the ground. 